Becky, Billy Starks. What a sensation Billy Starks is. Just told him to be kissing. Billy Starks! She certainly is the 18-year-old pro wrestling prodigy, but also an academic prodigy. Billy Starks just recently graduating high school with a 4.16 GPA, the valedictorian of her class, now here tonight with a massive opportunity in this opening round match in the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament, Chris. Good, well upset. Look at that, that head into trophy. the second round, but speak about an upset. The absolutely dominant ROH Women's Champion, Athena. And her opponent from Dallas, Texas, she is the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, the fallen goddess, Athena. Unreach to Sacred Champion, Athena! Kevin Kelly, it was last September, AEW Dynamite Grand Slam. The last time Athena lost a professional wrestling match, she is on a 47-match unbeaten streak. Yeah, and, and when I'm filling out my brackets and I'm historically terrible at these, I get the wrong every time, I could not pick Athena. Her winning has just been so dominant. And yes, defending champ, last year's champ is in it. We'll see what happens. But boy, Athena, next level right now. Our crowd of over 14,826 still filing into the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And to learn more about the message, the mission of the Owen Hart Foundation, visit owenhartfoundation.org. And this match not held under Ring of Honor rules, so the handshake not necessary, but Billy Starks wasting no time laying on those kicks on Athena. Got to go for broke when you're wrestling Athena. Oh, you're not going to get a second chance. Billy Starks making it count. Mike Posey, a referee, gets the one count. And Chris Charlton, the winner of this match, will be facing Willow Nightingale in the semifinal round. Willow, the current NJPW Strong Women's World Champion, the woman who last night, or I guess earlier this morning, was called out by Julia of Stardom. Julia, former World of Stardom champion, the international face of that promotion declaring that she's going to throw open her own forbidden doors challenged willow nightingale and that's a stack deck for willow tony storm tonight of course potentially you're the winner of this uh, this match in the second round of the tournament as well billy starts with a chance here the leg is hooked and athena showing her toughness you know it's interesting too and as i think about the the reception that cm punk might get tonight with satoshi kojima Let's remember, Kojima said he wants to kill Punk and minced no words about it. It's not a language barrier. And, and I think that, again, there could be just as many Punk supporters as there would be Kojima supporters. And it, that's one of the interesting subplots. And also, how is the crowd going to take uh, Kazuchiko Okada and Brian Danielson? Uh, I just, there's going to be so much love and outpouring of thank yous from the audience here live that it, it's just going to make the atmosphere incredible, Excalibur. It, it would be a situation where I think both men would receive a standing ovation before the bell. And that will be our main event tonight. Brian Danielson, Kazuchika Okada, the international dream match of epic proportions. And you still have time to join us on pay-per-view at the top of the hour, just over 35 minutes. As Athena, the snap suplex, turns the corner, pops the hips, bringing Billy Starks up to her feet. And Starks dropped right back down. Brian Danielson, of course, we saw, Chris, uh, the, the video that played when we were all together in Japan and Kazuchika Okada, we all witnessed Brian Danielson laying down that challenge. Oh, man, and you felt, just like Okada said, there's so few true dream matches. Ooh. Not just the connect the Japanese fans or American fans, but all over the world, such a huge reaction in Osaka Joe Hall when that Brian Danielson challenge played. Uh, you know, Billy Starks caught one of the ribs. Yes, and uh, is struggling to breathe. Athena so dangerous with those kicks. And Billy Starks attempting to get upright. Referee Mike Posey doing a good job checking in on the competitor, but Athena getting up into Posey's face. Billy Starks. May have had a chance to collect herself. Gets sent across. Oh, and yeah, you could see the ribs of Billy Starks. Definitely an issue. She went into that corner hard and gets dropped down by the hair, even harder by the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion Athena. I think if Athena wanted to, she could probably drag Billy Starks out away from the ropes. 
and cover get the three count. But this is one of the things we've seen is that in super confident mode, but also too a little bit arrogant at times. A little bit arrogant, a very big mean streak from Athena, who once again going after the body of Billy Starks. You now you see Starks, she is. You can just tell by her, her facial expression, her body language. As, oh, now on the back, Billy Starks fighting from underneath here. But remember, a berth in the semifinal round of the Owen Hart Foundation Women's Tournament on the line in this match. Athena could be poised to end it here with the O-Face. Athena, no, Billy Starks, great anti-air. Maybe Billy Starks was playing possum. Maybe just a little bit. Death Valley bomb, one, two, and no. Man, let youth be served in this industry right now. When you look at the young stars of professional wrestling and the way they're taking over, we're gonna see Shota Umino tonight. We're going to see uh, Jack Perry go after the world title. Daniel Garcia, so yes. many. Wheeler Yuta in that big eight-person tag team match, the Blackpool Combat Club. Shota Umino and Kanosuke Takeshita versus the Young Bucks, Hangman Adam Page, and the unlikely reinforcements of Tomohiro Ishii oh, and what? Eddie Kingston. Oh, oh, Billy Starks burning too much daylight on the top rope. Yeah, Chris. again, the, the amount of time she had to go, yeah, Chris, it was and, too much. And so hard to suck air into those lungs with the, the rib work on the back end there. And this is a long way down for Billy Starks. Athena has her right where she wants it. Who Starks? May have caught Athena on the button because Athena is fading off those ropes. But no, Athena fighting back, firing in those elbows. Very heavy handed is Athena. And Athena to the top. Oh, look on Rana. Stark goes down hard. You can see immediately comes up, clutching that back. Athena sends her in, pops her up. Power bomb. And Athena the kick. One, two, oh! Next level overdrive there from the ROH Women's World Champ. And Billy Starks showing her resilience. But how much does she have left in the tank? Athena cannot afford to become frustrated here. Winner, of course, faces Willow Nightingale semifinals. And how impressed uh, were you, Excalibur, last night advancing Willow Nightingale over Nyla Rose? And then, of course, here tonight against Tony Storm, the AEW Women's Champ. Yeah. Will Nightingale has an opportunity to put up back-to-back -back victories to earn her second championship, the AEW Women's World Championship. And Billy Starks, shotgun drop kick, backing off Athena, but Athena a shot of her own. These women exchanging drop kicks. And Athena, super accurate and sidesteps. Athena. Nobody home for Athena. And Billy Starks hits the ropes, drop kick to the side of the head. Well, this could be huge, guys. Far leg is hooked, and no! Not only would Billy Starks advance to the semifinals of the Owen Hart, but you'd also have to believe she'd get a world title shot. She could be in line, beating, the, beating Be Athena. That's right, and Billy Starks now to the top rope. Athena rolling to the outside, trying to take herself out of play. 16-year veteran, uh -oh. Billy Starks only two, uh -oh. and she started. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, oh, my God! Oh, my God! Crashes and burns right in front of us. Oh. Billy Starks went for the senton off the top. No oh, one was man. home. And Athena was like a kid on Christmas when she saw what happened to Starks. Smashing up right in front of Mickey Matoy on the Japanese side here. And Athena brings Starks up and drops her down two and three. The winner of this match, Athena. The Ring of Honor Women's World Champion Athena punches her ticket to the semifinal round of the Owen Hart Foundation Women's Tournament, where she will meet Willow Nightingale one-on-one. -on -one. It will be a champion versus champion battle, but we will have a champion versus champion battle later on tonight when Willow Nightingale and Tony Storm go one-on-one, -on -one. and let's go back to the wrestle -ons. In the ground.
to go back to Ohio chant, which you hear occasionally when Ohio State plays their opponents on the road. Well, the main event is from Ohio, too. We have Shane Taylor competing in the main event here tonight. He takes on gravity. The winner takes on Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe made the challenge for all in. Oh, goodness. Wembley Stadium. As you see, Robin no. Renegade with the hair. Oh, good. Oh, that tear right there. Just think about the Joker. Oh, like, just think about the Joker's face. That's what it feels like. Oh. And driving the face nose first, septum first, into the ground. And Billy trying to rally back here. Ooh. Oh my goodness, that's a face wash with Jordans. You know how much grip Jordans have on the bottom of this shoe? I'm wearing them, I know. Yeah, yeah. she's tearing it right there. Oh, stop. Oh, oh that, and that, that is physical, but perhaps more so mental. What did the face? The, what did the five fingers say to the face? Yeah. There you go. I'm, I can't. Oh, kick in the midsection. Oh, Whoa! She said it back to her. Would that be a back fist or backhand compliment or backhand insult? Ooh! Big back elbow, big boot there. Yes. It's really sucks. Oh, Trying to create space. Wow, nice rebound there. And Billy Starks grabs the arm. Nice knee. And the knee spinning wow. kick there, catches Robin Renegade. Billy Starks. Whoa, Gory, Gory Bomb. Hooks the leg. One, two. On the Gory Bomb, gets two there. This is the heart that Starks is showing me, man. Rick Bonnie, Starks is a star. Certainly is. Wrestling beyond her years here. You see the poise, the talent on full display. Hi, no one home, rolling through. Ooh, for the right. And Robin Renegade likes that trap. Got your hook, yeah. Oh, God. Shoots the half, hooks the leg cover. Two, Robin Ooh. Renegade cannot get the three count. Starks is showing a lot of fight here. However, Robin Renegade is willing to bring more fight to her, back up to her feet, ready to inflict more punishment to Billy Starks. Firewoman's carry position here. Starks slips out. Off the ropes, hanging on. Lures Robin oh in. I'm in a bait move. And that is better her presence beyond her ears. Now it's Billy Starks. Starks fly! Starks fly! Starks fly! Billy, oh, Billy! What? Bringing Robin into the ring. Now she ascends to the top rope. Billy up top. Starks looking to close things out. No! Oh, wow! Swat down connects. Who's the leg? Charlotte, nowhere to be found. And no! that's it! No! The winner of this match, Billy! Stark. That's a win! That's, that's almost an upset. Oh, statement win! But Charlotte will not let the 18-year-old prodigy celebrate. Driving the skull into the mat. And this is two on one. This is insane. Um, she's 18 years old. And, and, and I mean, this is the, I mean, it's one thing to take risks in a sanctioned sign match in between the bell. Oh, come on, the Renegades. What? Wait, okay. This is an interesting development. As, as Charlotte continues to pound away on Billy Stark, the women's world champion making her way down to the ring. Oh, and Robin! Robin wiped out! Whoa! Yeah. Ducks still right from Charlotte! Forearm! From Athena to Charlotte! And Athena, who, we, who who spared Rachel Ellering earlier. Oh, she wants to do it herself, Caprice. And, and maybe she's a not gonna do it. preemptive she's, shot to her newest challenger. She's not going to do it. She's 18 years old, Rickabani. Don't do it. Age matters not when you're a championship caliber like Billy Starks is. I think the champion is making a statement, but the champion shows that she's oh. thinking about it. Maybe another day. And she has saved and spared Billy Starks here. And look at the 
fear but relief. I've never seen such a combination what in the eyes. Music? Here's a thought, Rickabani. What yeah. if Athena say yeah. Billy starts because Athena wants competition? Athena wants the best competition handed to her and protected her to save for another day for a great match. Athena's been burning through competition. So you're, so you're thinking maybe you're Billy starts? Athena wants Billy on the up and up at full strength? I would, I would think absolutely so. Well, more questions than answers here. Billy Starks, your victor. Moving up the ranks here in Ring of Honor. Oh, no, no, no. Oh! Where's my wife? Where's you better rap for her. Dwell. Come on, Brittany, fight back. My God. Yeah, she's gone. You can get up. She's gone? Good gracious. Oh, but if you don't write a rap for her, she's been wrapping everybody's heads around the post. I don't need to rap. Just rap yours. It's done right. Off the ropes, Brittany J. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. That's what I'm talking about. That's oh, why yeah. she's the champion. She's strong. She's explosive. Oh. oh. Pop up power bomb. Oh, good night, I that's all she wrote right there. Cover two. Oh, don't. Oh, just right. The winner of this match, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena. Oh, no. Oh, and a second. Oh, and this. This is uncalled for, too. Ah. The Renegades. The I'm, Renegades have stormed the ring, attacking the victorious. Ring of Honor Women's Champions. I've never seen anything like this on the other side of Athena. Normally, Athena is the one. Well, she, that she is, is, but she's fighting back. She's fighting two people. Oh, goodness. The, the numbers game will always win in this situation. Wait a minute. There's no way. It's Todd a Jet of Ring of Honor. Billy Starks. Chasing away the Renegades. Hey. And I, Remember what happened last week? I certainly do. Last week, it was Billy Starks who picked up the victory over Robin Renegade. Charlotte attacked Billy Starks after the match. And it was Athena who came to the aid of Billy Starks. I'll tell you what, you're 18 years old and you already got the eye of the champion. The champion has your back and you have theirs. Well, let's, let's just wait. Yeah, yeah, well, let's wait one minute here. I might have spoken too soon. And, and Billy, you did a noble thing, but you, you never know with Athena. You might want to get out of there. And Athena, who picked up the victory, and it's Billy Starks doing the right thing, showing some courage, and returning the favor hey, for the champion. That's exactly what I feel she was doing. She was returning the favor because when the shoe was on the other foot, Athena came out and saved her. I don't think this is over. Billy Starks, coming up later tonight, you will be taking on one half of the Renegades, Charlotte. But I think the question on everyone's mind is, what exactly is going on between you and Athena? I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know what's going on between me and this crazy woman. I try to go help her and... Oh, you want to talk about crazy now. Wait till you get a load of this double trouble coming your way, honey. Uh, but let's talk about this double trouble. Let's not talk about your deal with Athena. Let's talk about ours. We put her down on the mat, easy breezy, beautiful, without even sweating. And your next baby girl, wait till tonight. Is that so? Oh yeah. But, but hold on, babe. We'll handle this care bear later. Well, coming up later tonight, still, Billy Starks will be taking on Charlotte right here on Honor Club. Face plant. Everywhere Billy Starks goes. It is, oh, ooh, including on the outside where Robin wanted her attention. And how many people do you know have the wherewithal of more than one person? It, it's incredible. Billy Starks wise behind her ears as she goes to the top. Billy! Oh! Swan dive misses. The empty pool, Rick Abani. Nobody home. And somebody stalking you. Oh, and Charlotte. Oh, oh God, that was a nasty driver. Wow! That's got to do it. Two, whoa! The heart of.
Now Billy Starks is definitely on display. That would have put anybody away. Certainly would have. That Michinoku driver from the Firewoman's carry position. The neck, the back. Charlotte, elbow to the midsection from Billy, the big knee. Close line. Right, nice combination by Billy Starks. I'm so surprised at everything she does, staying with her, not letting anything breathe. Arms trapped, arms trapped. Just a pile driver. Oh, oh. Great face buster. Hooks the leg, shoots the half, and that's wow. it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not even letting Bobby Cruz. I know the official result. She can't even enjoy the victory before she's trampled by the Robin Renegade. And if you're the oh, Renegade, the champ is here. Oh, God. Women's World Champion unloading on Robin Renegade. Charlotte trying to snatch the champ. Oh, goodness. Forearms connecting on Athena. And it's Charlotte and Athena. Robin and Billy Stark. Wait, they're working together, Rick Bonnie. Uh, separately together, perhaps. Forearms connecting. And it's almost like they're back to back. That's what I'm saying, back Ooh. to back. And I, and I think, oh, oh. I think they, oh! That, Athena said duck. Wow! The Renegade sent retreating. The champion and, I don't know the thing of the champion, Rick Abani. Every time we think we have Athena figured out, everything we think we, we know the answer, Athena changed the question. And, and, and they spoke without saying anything, but they should say it all. Synchronized time. When you see something in somebody, you let them know. You see the confusion in Stark's eyes. But the champion has eyes on you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What is she? Come on. Come on. Come on. She's trying to, Billy, trying to wrestle? Yeah, well, Billy, you don't have to do this. You don't get to... I'm stretching. Yeah. This doesn't end well. Shake your hand. Oh, Look, you know. Yeah. Come on, minion, let's go. Minion, minion, oh. see? Come on. Come on. Listen to her, man. This is you know how much great tools you can get from winning the champion. But but Billy's Billy's her own woman. I mean. I know she's only 18, and I know she's got so much to learn, but you can learn from the champion, Rick Bonnie. I would go. And you can make things on your own terms, though. I, I, this might be a one-sided engagement, and can you trust Athena? I, I'm just a little suspicious right now, Capri. Well, you would have to figure that out and make your own decisions. 18 years old, do you follow that crowd, or do you go, or you make your own road? She's got some great decisions to make, but either way you go, your winner of the match was Billy Starks, and I don't believe that's the last we're going to see of her. I'd like to bring in ROH women's champion, Athena. What's up, bestie? How are you? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm one second. Come on, come on, Billy Goat. Come on, don't be shy. Come on in here. Today is a very special occasion. I got my bestie here, and today we give loyal follower, Billy Starks, her very own minion number. Billy, for all of your faithful service to your forever ROH champ, your fallen goddess, we are going to give you minion number 400,237 and three quarters. And I'm so very proud Athena, of you. That's not what's important right now. What about the renegade twins? What about them? I think next week, me and you, we challenge the renegade twins in a tag match. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't think. I do the thinking, I do the fighting. That is why I am the champion. Bestie, tell her how this works. Uh, <laughs> what Athena says goes, I, I think that's pretty cool. So okay. we're gonna talk about this later, but in the meantime, chop, chop, minion, you have to drive me to the mall. I'm not her minion. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Our ROH Women's World Champion Athena has asked for this time. What exactly is on your mind? You know what? I think we all saw it last week. The tension that is in the air between you two. And I just want you to know that we can all coexist as a really big, happy Ring of Honor family here. So, I took the time to make you guys shirts. Oh, oh thank you so much. Don't worry, they match wow. mine. Yeah. yeah, they're gorgeous. Yes, really nice, thank you so much. Put them on. Hmm? Put them on. Put them on! Hey, chill! God. So, just, just, yep, and then just come on. So we have Athena's bestie, and we have Minion, 400,237 and three-fourths. I'm not even a whole Minion to you? Where is my thank you? I spent 14 hours making these shirts. No, thank you. And mine to match. This is great. This is Look, great. This is mm. you did a great <laughs> job. I'm so thankful, <laughs> Athena. I you appreciate know what? it. In, in honor of our new family, I'm going to take you up on that offer. We are going to challenge the Renegades tonight in a match. And I hope, Bestie, me and Billy do you proud. Okay. Yay! <laughs> too, much, too much energy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. First yes! Ring of Honor Honor Club episode back in February, Caprice. The Renegades started as a fixture. They've stayed as a fixture. Yeah. And they have by far been the best women's tag team here in Ring of Honor. The thing that Billy Starks has showed me that she could take a lot of punishment and keep fighting. She has so much heart on display at all times. You can never count her out. But she's going to be in trouble if she doesn't make a move. She does here into the corner of the Renegades. Rosser makes the tag. It's Athena, the world champion. 36 in a row here at Ring of Honor. Coming in with those heavy forearms. And now she's brought. Is that a minion toss? And that was the instruction she gave Billy earlier to, to just throw, oh, throw somebody into something. Oh, goodness. I tell you what, Athena is scary good, Riccoboni. She's scary good. Oh, oh, Billy. Now, this is the thing that takes time away. Oh! oh my God! But you know what? The damage inflicted. Oh! But on who? Right. There's only one person standing in the ring, Rick Bonnie. And maybe there only needs to be one. She is the women's world champion and the most dominant champion we've seen in men's or women. What is this? I got an idea. Let me just keep throwing my tag team partner on you. Alabama slam. Cover, one, two. Oh, I thought she was gonna verba break her. I thought we were gonna shout out your friend from North Carolina, Caprice. Uh, absolutely, he would like Ooh. that. Little Helms play in there. And, oh! That was nice. Mishinoku driver by Charlotte. Yeah, from the Firewoman, it's Athena with the roll up. Handful of tights, Ooh. only gets two. This is the thing about the Renegades, no matter where they are, they are able to dig deep. They are able to go into the end zone. They have great cardio to take a lot of punishment, and they never say die. Almost needing to be knocked out to beat them, Riccoboni. Absolutely, they have come well prepared with a great game plan in this grudge match here. It's been the Renegades who've been a thorn in the mm. side of Billy Starks. Athena unexpectedly came to their aid. Mm. But a big kick from Billy Starks. And Starks not afraid to reciprocate, not afraid to stand up with Athena also. But she is now caught. The Renegades. Oh, oh. God. Sparks landed on her head. She's out. Cover She's out to the Renegades. Oh. How is she still moving? The head, neck, and shoulder of Billy Starks on that left side. You see how fast the Renegades go right to Athena. This is tag team work, Riccoboni. This is how oh. a tag team works together. My God, double choke slam. Cover two. That would have been the first time Athena has been pinned on Ring of Honor. Certainly would. We've seen Willow do it on AEW. It's her only blemish in the last eight months, period. She has not yet been pinned in a Ring of Honor sanctioned bout since winning the title. 
And the Renegades are looking to do just that. What a feather in the cap it would be. Not only and a feather in the cap, that would automatically put them in the ranks for the contendership of the women's title. What a way to win. Standing O'Connor roll two. And oh. Athena! That forearm has knocked out three of her last five opponents, Rickabody. The lights are out. And Athena is denying the crowd Billy Starks, who wants to go in and try and finish things off here. Denying the tag, looking for that O face. A little selfish if you ask me. Oh! Got it! But Billy, unbeknownst to Athena, made the tag. As Athena with the spear, Billy Starks with a beautiful swan dive. God, that's nice. Hooks the leg, two. The winners of this match, the team of Billy Starks and the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena. Now, there, oh, oh. There's good reason to do that. The Athena is legit mad that she didn't get the pin. They got the win, but Athena didn't get the pin. And those are two moves that have won matches in recent weeks. I mean, two are better than one. I see nothing wrong with what Billy Starks did, making sure the Renegades were defeated. But one thing Billy Starks is doing is proving that she is a team worthy and not oh. a minion. Then you're not finished, though. And Athena, is that Charlotte or is that Robin? I couldn't tell. I, well, I, could, I was looking until her face got planted. That's Charlotte. Billy Starks asking, what do you do? Yeah, but she's not doing anything. She's standing there. Now, now Billy Starks, I think, maybe well within her right after the havoc that the Renegades have caused as of late, but uh, save and maybe cooler heads prevailing. Your winner's a bit of a dysfunctional family. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be at the dinner table with these two. Yeah, it's the world champion Athena. I, I've been in Billy Star's shoes. I was there last week. I can't imagine spending any amount of time with this dominant, destructive, must-see violence that Athena brings 37 in a row now on Ring of Honor. Athena and Philly Starks, your winners here. All right, let's take a look at the only three-time Ring of Honor champion as he prepares for his match in Wembley Stadium for the AEW Championship. Baby. Up to the top, Billy Starks, you can see on the bottom of your screen, trying to cause a distraction and did successfully. He's he's trying to warn her that Martinez was coming up behind with some bad intentions. Martinez, one of the true veterans of the women's game, and a now, true inspiration to a generation. Look at this! The, the legs wrapped in the rope, Mercedes Martinez looking for the spider German. Paige out of Mariko, Yoshida's butt! Oh. And Scott Fino just got dumped! As, wait a second, Mercedes still at, ooh, Willow the cannonball. Itsy bitsy spider. And the old face. Got it. Willow down, but Willow again takes herself out of play, out of pinning position, but Hikaru Shida not impressed with the antics of Willow Nightingale. And this is a matchup I'd love to see one on one. We are center court, center ice in the United Center. And Athena Hikaru Shida teeing off on one another. 20 minute mark until all out begins on pay per view. Hikaru Shida through the larry. Solva, middle kick, and Shida catching the elbow, drops Athena. Shida so dangerous, lethal with her strikes. But Athena right back up, forehead to forehead with the former EW Women's World Champion. Both women with the ropes. Both women swept out. As Athena locking eyes with Sky Blue right in front of our broadcast position. Watch out for Willow! Oh, oh, oh my God! Willow Nightingale 
a well-timed, well-placed pounce. Or a cheap shot, that's another way of calling it. Hiding. Well, Diamante tried a cheap shot of her own on Willow Nightingale. But Willow, oh, now the number's catching up with Willow. Here we go, Diamante and Martinez. Oh, wait oh. a second, that's turn around quickly. And Mercedes Harden for the barricade. Diamante now left alone in the ring with Willow Nightingale. Diamante's like something from a Tarantino flick from Dusk Till Dawn. Hold on. Willow with the fireman's carry, makes the tag to Sky Blue. The thrust kick, Death Valley driver combo. And now Sky Blue with the clear path, perhaps. Sky hits the ropes, comes off. Code Blue, one, two, three. Hey, hey. The winner to this match, the team of Sky Blue, Willow Nightingale, and Hikaru Shida. Great victory for Chicago's own Sky Blue, along with Willow Nightingale and Hikaru Shida. A hard-fought win for all three women. Well, you still have time to join us for All Out, coming your way live at the top of the hour. Kicking things off with the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship title match. But before that, let's find out what the next chapter in the story of La Faction in Gobernable. Athena, I brought the cameras like you asked. What, what happened out there? What do you think happened? Billy screwed up. We had a match on zero hour, and what were you supposed to do, Minion? Uh, cheer! No, no. You were supposed to help us win at all costs. Yes, yes, win. And when Willow pounced me into the barricade, you were supposed to be helping Diabla win the match. I had to check on you. No, 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 I am not a child. I am the forever ROH champion. I don't need help. Here so, we. so, <laughs> You're an idiot. You're an idiot. I have to say it, Bessie. She knows it. You're an idiot, uh -huh. Minion. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You're gonna let her talk to you like that, Billy? Yeah. Who is you, Porcelain? Don't play me like that. You know who I am, Athena. Why don't you pick on someone, well, maybe not your own size, but maybe someone your caliber. Why don't you fight me? You wanna fight someone? Fight me. Yeah. No, 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 it's champ. No, 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 this is not how this works, okay? You are a porcelain hussy. You come to my show, you wrestle with other porcelain hussies, and if you win, then you get a title match. That's not how this works, okay? So I don't know what pedestal you came off of, but it's definitely not the one in my show. Do you hear me? Now, I just asked for a fight. You're the one who mentioned it's for the ROH Women's Championship. Well, no, I, I like do. the way that sounds. Why don't we make it for the ROH Women's Championship? Nah, I'm sorry. My, my head, my neck, my what back. Are you scared? Minion? You know what? Mm -mm. Your minion has a point. She's All a right, human stop. being, by the way. Stop. Okay, fine. Fine. I will give you your match, okay? For the title on my show. Okay? Yay! But when I beat the brakes off you, I don't want to see any of this ever again. Okay. Let's roll out, family. Yeah. Congrats. Well, that was easier than I thought. Come on, Allison. here pulling at the neck, cutting off the wind, putting her body weight on Allison. Allison still fighting to her feet. Hair ripped right down to the floor. The dirty champion pulling out all she can to keep that title. I'll tell you what, though. She did it behind the referee's view. And this, that is indicative mm. of how serious she takes K. She should have took her a little more serious. There's Kate, straight to the yeah. forearm. And Athena, snake eyes into the corner. See what, every time Allison gets a chance, she has those feet to strength. That, oh. oh my God! Big clothesline into the back elbow. It's Kate catching the wrist. Wow, series of wrist locks into the neck breaker. The challenger on a roll here. That's what I mean. Every time Allison gets the control, she's hitting big impact moves, and that's what it's gonna take to take the champion out. Off the ropes. The champ! Oh, is that sky high? Two could it be? Oh! Mm. Two only. And Allison K feeling it. The momentum, the pendulum has clearly swung in her direction. The eyelash. She's lasted out, Riccaboni. She certainly is. Oh! 
move, though, by Athena. And Kay in trouble. Two. There's little distractions like an eyelash that keep you away from those seconds and you're in the ring with a champion. Every second count. My oh. God, flat to the face. Champion's in trouble, Riccoboni. Right there to an ankle lock. Dead center. And Athena is indeed in trouble. Stepping over, trying to trap the opposite ankle. Yeah. Allison stepped over on the side. That was closest to the rope as well. Making Athena have to crawl to another side of the ring. And, and listen to the smart coaching from, from Billy Starks, but it's, it's wow, Allison that's, Kay. That's deep. Going left to right with the ankle. Athena's gonna have to bridge under. There you go. And the heel of the boot from Athena, able to break things up, getting to the ropes here. K staying with it. It's Athena. K twisting up. My oh. God. Back to a feet, back to control. Let's see that again. Look at this. K ripping Athena, but Athena ripping one across the jaw. That shows the balance and the heart of our champion. No matter what we say about Athena, she is champion for a reason. And that display proved it. We might be seeing an O face with Kabani. Definitely was looking for the O face as she goes to the top. K smartly sends her back to size. Front face lock. Second rope on the inside. Pounding on the lower back. The Athena holding on to the rope. Athena's in a better control right now. Has that base under her. Allison's gonna have to rip her off if Allison wants control back. Now, Athena back is control. There you go. Holding on to that rope, holds everything. Oh, and Athena, oh, face. Oh, face, plants the challenger like hook, two, and that's it. Wow. The winner of this match, and still, Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena. Caprice, there have been very few women that have put Athena to the test like that. You see Billy Starks ecstatic on the outside as Athena had to fight every inch of that victory tooth and nail. You know what, Allison Kay has nothing to be ashamed of. Came in from the deep end of the pool facing the champion. She will live the fight again, but I'm always impressed with our Ring of Honor women's champion. And that's Athena. Let's see what she, oh, look at this. Oh, no, no, no. We have been spared of this. Yeah, but she wants Billy Stark to do it. No, Billy, you don't have to. No, Billy. This is minion training one-on-one. -on -one. No, but Caprice, you and I. Billy doesn't want to. This is something dark in Athena's heart. Uh, yeah, Billy doesn't need to go there. Oh, wow. wow. Billy, you messed up. <laughs> Athena. <laughs> Driving the forehead of the challenger into the you title belt. And you think about what you did. Athena victorious. Wow. Leaves with the Women's World Championship in tow. And a confused Billy Stark. All right, thanks guys. I've got ROH Women's World Champion, Athena. Now, as of late, we've seen Billy Starks by your side. Are you satisfied with her minionship? Where's your shirt? Yeah, the shirt. 17 hours, rhinestones, glue, glitter, all the Go Good. At least someone here appreciates a gift. Look here, you little bitch. I've done everything for you. I've taken you under my wing and I've given you more passes than I have my own mother. I, I don't know what I went wrong. Three times in a row, you left me hanging. Three times in a row, Billy. Why? Why? Have I not been good to you? I did everything I was supposed to. Everything, everything. <sighs> you didn't know. That's it, she didn't know, Lexi. Yeah. You know what? We're gonna give you some home training, home training, home training. Lexi. Home yeah. training, home Billy. Training. You Minion training. You know what? Let's go. I got an idea. Okay. Good luck with your minion training. Billy Starks is a prodigy here in Ring of Honor, and she's aligned with the champion. I just don't know if she's a tag team partner or is she a minion.
Minion, 400,237 and three fourths. I'm not even a whole minion to you? This is an unstable genius. Bestie, tell her how this works. What if Nina says goes. <laughs> I've done everything for you. I've taken you under my wing and I've given you more passes than I have my own mother. And Athena denying the crowd, Billy Starks. But Billy made the tag. Billy Starks with a beautiful swan dive. Yeah, Athena is legit mad that she didn't get the pin. You left me hanging, why? I did everything I was supposed to. No, Billy, you don't have to, no, Billy. Billy doesn't want to. This is something dark in Athena's heart. Have I not been good to you? You know what? We're gonna give you some home training. N minion training. Come on, Minion, let's go! At this time, I'd like to bring in Billy Starks. Hey, Lexi. What's all this? Right, so, uh, I have cameras here, you here for proof, poor Athena, that I am officially serving you your minion to-do list uh, that needs to be done within two weeks of her absence. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, say Irish wrist lock, wrist, wrist lock five times fast, get a single banana, punch and kick a tree, don't cheer for a single day, make someone cry, Lexi, I can't do this. Billy, look at me in my, my eyes. If you don't get this done in the next two weeks, the two of us, it's not gonna be great. Okay. I know. At least I can knock one thing off the list. I got a banana. <laughs> okay, that's a good start. <laughs> also, uh, I, I do have this for you. Um, you know you have to. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Athena and her t-shirts. Yes. I hope you're happy, Athena. I'll go get this done, I guess. Good luck. Oh, God. We are here for one reason and one reason alone. You two have consistently failed me time and time again. So today, we are going to be doing minion training. Yes, yes minion, minion overlord. overlord. All of the things you need to do to become a minion. Do you hear me? Yes, yes, Minion Overlord! One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, let's go! You wanna be a Minion? You wanna be a Minion in my team? Let's go! And standing ovation! Let's go, Billy, let's go! Shine this up! Your job? Don't laugh, no joy. I only want anger. I'm Willow! No love, no joy, no happiness. Do you understand me, Billy? Boo Willow, Billy! You boo her! You boo her, I Billy! Got it. I... Is that a smile? Is that a smile? Huh? I'm Willow! Yeah. Good! Hit the stairs! Stairs, let's go! Hit the stairs! graduated MIT and you will now be known as Lexi Nair Minion Bestie. Yeah. Great. Billy, you still suck. Angelina driving Athena down cover two. 
That side slam had all the weight distribution it needed to drive the win out of the champion. Smart move by Athena with that move to keep the champion close as well. That chin lock trying to keep Athena from breathing, getting the, the air back to her. She knows she's driven it out of her, now she's trying to keep it out of her and ground her at the same time. The longest reigning Ring of Honor World Women's Champion of all time, the most defenses, the most proving ground. Challengers thwarted is in trouble here against the former champion, Angelina Love. Ooh! In the second you on that, Ripper Bonnie, that has made Athena so dangerous. You can't take away the title defenses because the number of title defenses, the part of it is because she has defeated opponents before they were able to challenge for the title in Proving Ground. And Billy Starks has find her, found herself some Nittany Lion cheerleading oh. pops as Athena biting the arm of Angelina Love into a wrist lock take -over. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. No, oh, that's definitely out of the characteristics of Athena. But I don't, I don't count anything past Athena anymore. I, I'm not even surprised anymore. The big swing and a chop there. Irish whip. It is reversed by Angelina off the rope. Wow! That's the momentum. Last thing you want to do with, with Athena is give her momentum. That's what Angelina did was give Athena momentum. And now Athena's capitalizing on it. Billy starts enjoying herself with the pom poms on the outside. Wow, the wow. front hand spring and takes off the jaw of Angelina. I don't know, Rick Abani. There's only a couple of reasons why Athena goes to the top rope. Well, I think I know one. Oh! I think Billy starts distracted Athena with those pom poms. Athena didn't look pleased. She, she took a glance over at Athena. I mean, it, the matches can change in split seconds. It's, a glance is all it takes. It's just one look. And now Athena in trouble. The former women's world champion has got Athena on her shoulders. Waist lock here into the corner. It's Athena charging in. Oh, and that may have. Oh, there's that pump kick. The pump kick. She's finished so many opponents with this. Two, we got a new champion mode. Two count only. Billy Starks almost trying to break up the pin. Angelina has finished, has defended titles with that very kick. Athena in a lot of trouble, and if I know Angelina, she's not gonna stop, she's gonna continue to onslaught. But you can see that Angelina is distracted by Billy Starks, allowing the champion to recover. A waist lock, standing switch, it's rolling through. Athena. With a oh, yeah. knees to the face. That's going to be Marks enough. Angelina, yeah. and that is three. The winner of this match, and still, Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena. What a defense, what a game challenger. Angelina Love came in with a great game plan. But Athena able to make it 39 in a row in Ring of Honor competition. Three. Tell you what, you can always come in with a great, a great game plan, and I believe the game plan worked well for Angelina. It's just the champion had another game plan with momentum already attached to it and an added distraction that may help her retain even longer. Minion in training, Billy Starks might not have done everything that the champion wanted her to do, but the champion retains. Uh, and there's the whistle to coach Athena. Tell you what, the Gen Z kids with the TikTok and all that fun stuff. Athena may have her hands full, but she has a Prada jet on her hands, that's for sure. Athena picks up win number 39 in a row. Fans, so right now we're going to head backstage to Lexi Nair, who's standing by with the debuting tag team. Oh, get it. Wow. it. Are you kidding me? There is no one like Lady Frost. And Caprice, put on your cold gear. It's already cold, Rick Body. Well, it's about to get frosty. Whoa! That's 
That's it. That's got to do it. Power two. Wait a minute. And that certainly would have been it. That's a perfectly timed distraction by Athena. And I almost feel like Athena wants Billy Starks to win so Athena doesn't have to face Lady Frost. Oh, wait a minute. Roll up here. At least that's a great observation. My God, those double hooks. Wow. Oh, that is beautiful. Wow. Hooks alive, too. And that's it. What was that? The winner of this match, Billy Starks. Billy Starks survives the temperature drop with help from Athena, and then debuts what can only be referenced as one of the best finishing moves we've seen in quite some time. What about the Stars Clash? Can we call it that? Oh! -ho -ho. Did Athena teach her that? I... Was that? Oh, come on. And we don't, no, we don't need to. Did you hear that? She said, do you want to hit her? Come on. What? Yeah, this is the part that tears Billy Starks because we know Billy Starks has not won any part of this and Athena just having a way with Lady Frost. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Driving Lady Frost's spine into that pointed edge of the barricade. fans that are encouraging Athena to add to the injury. This match is over. Yeah, it has been long over. If it was up to Billy Starks, it would have been a code of honor, and they would have walked to the back. Instead, Billy pleading with Athena. The hatred that I was saying that Athena has for Lady Frost. Billy just pleading and begging. It's almost like an episode of Cobra Kai here. And good for you, Billy. Good for you. And maybe Athena can learn something from Billy. Maybe this 18-year-old prodigy can teach the undefeated champion something here. Takes confidence to stand up against your coach. You don't tell me what to do. Oh, no. This, if this is gonna work, I lead, you follow. That's what this is. This is what mediumship is, Billy. This is what it is. You want it? You want this? You want all of it? I tried to show you. I tried to show you. decision from Billy Starks to spare the woman she just defeated of an unceremonious beatdown. Tell you what I'm going to plan to see here, Rick Abadi. Billy Starks keep paving around this champion. She can learn her. But I want to take you now to Lex Extended with Allison Kay. Here with my MIT buddy, Billy Starks. You've had an epic return here tonight on Honor Club, picking up a big win. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Lexi. I'm just so happy to do this all on my own. <laughs> well, technically, Athena kind of pulled you out of that pit and helped you win. What are you talking about? She was there, ringside, and then at the very end, you know, she just... You got something to say, MIT number two? No. Oh, so I guess you don't like the way that I handled business after your match, huh? No. So, what do you have to say for yourself? Because you sat there and did nothing. I already won. <laughs> no, 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 that's not what we do. We win at all costs, and then we deter any porcelain hussy from stepping in our path in the future. If you don't understand that, Billy, Maybe we need more minion training. You're young, you're stupid, everyone's gonna step on you, and me and Bessie here are trying to bring you out of the gutter. But you know what? I think you need a first-hand example, and I'm gonna give you a front 
row seat. So next week, I'm gonna put my Ring of Honor Women's World Championship on the line versus Layla Hirsch. And I'm gonna set an example for this family. I'm sorry. I I'm, I'm so sorry. This is an eight-person mixed tag team match. So for one ball, with a 20-minute time limit. Team number one, representing Shane Taylor Promotions. Shane Taylor and Tiger Style, Lee Moriarty. Their partners, Mercedes Martinez and Diabate. Hello, fans. Welcome to the Wrestle Dream Zero Hour. I'm Excalibur, joined by Nigel McGuinness and the great Jim Ross Jr. Antonio Noki. I mean, he, a true trailblazer in our sport. He meant so much to One of the great thrills in my 50-year career was meeting, conversing, and listening to Antonio Noki. Uh, really somebody that's left a, a, such a monumental impact on professional wrestling and we probably wouldn't be here without him today Nigel yeah, no question about that. huge inspiration not just in Japan but worldwide their opponents first Billy Stocks and the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion the following goddess Athena and it's a very unique match to kick off the Wrestle Dream Zero Hour, an eight-person mixed tag team match. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Let's get a Wichita, Falls, Texas, weighing 348 pounds. For he is limitless, Keith Lee. Well, Jared, well, John, I would buy stock in. Yeah, Keith Lee. Big and athletic. He's hungry. And I mean hungry. Wrestling out of Tokyo, Japan, weighing 238 pounds, Satoshi Kojima! Satoshi Kojima fans of AEW have seen him compete in our ring before. Nigel, amongst the heaviest hitters of his generation of New Japan Pro Wrestling. He certainly is a man who honors the strong style tradition that Antonio Inoki made famous. As you can see there at the back of your screen, those lariats come as tough as anyone who's ever thrown one, me included. You know, the physicality and the philosophy of Mr. Inoki's company in the early going was so amazing that a lot of guys were reluctant to wrestle there because it was so physical. Get banged up, get battered and bruised, and uh, that served their company well, and still does. Yeah, you had to be very tough to make it in Japan. Legends like Stan Hansen, Bruiser Brody, made their living on that side of the Pacific. Yeah, the Bumps, Dick Murdoch, a lot of guys that I grew up with were wrestling uh, for Mr. Inoki in one form or another. And fans, a lot of intertwining threads in this eight-person mixed tag team matchup. You have Athena, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, the dominant champion, and that Billy Starks, Athena's minion in training, as the fans here in Seattle chanting, uh, chanting we want bread to Satoshi Kojima, who is, of course, the leader of Bread Club, but also... I want to explain that. Uh, bread Club is... Uh, Kojima, he's just a big fan of, of baked goods, of, of patisserie, of, uh, of all sorts of bread in, in, in its many forms. And so he's uh, really found a, a huge social media following as a result of that. As I wouldn't mind doing that with ribs. <laughs> Real club. Oh, I've been one of those before. Oh, wow. As Billy starts getting worked over in the corner. And this is a mixed tag team match, so the women will only compete with the women. The Correct. men will only compete with the men. And that makes it simpler and makes it safer, quite frankly. Because some of these cats will take advantage of the rules if given the opportunity. Whoa, wow. Yeah, the Ring of Honor Women's Champion. Oh! Thought she had the better. And fans, we are just under 50 minutes away from Wrestle Dream on pay per view. You can catch it on cable and satellite through traditional providers. 
live in select theaters across the country, live in select Dave, Dave and Buster's locations, Tom's Watch Bar locations, and internationally on Fight TV, Sky, Italia, PPV.com, and YouTube.com. Russell Dream coming your way at the top of the hour. It's quite honestly as simply as pushing a button in many systems. That's how easy it is to align yourself. Oh, look at that. Tandem offense by Billy Starks and Athena taking out Diamante and Mercedes Martinez on the outside. I keep waiting for Athena to get on a real red hot roll because she's got all the athletic ability to accomplish whatever the hell she wants. Well, she is the Ring of Honor Women's Champion and the most dominant Ring of Honor Women's Champion. Oh, she wants a bit of Shane Taylor. Oh, the official Rick Knox gonna, not going to allow that. As you shouldn't. And this is a story I want to draw attention to. Shane Taylor and Keith Lee. They used to be tag team partners for, for quite a long time in Ring of Honor. And then Shane Taylor re-signing with Ring of Honor. Keith Lee deciding to part ways. And a lot of bad blood, a lot of hurt feelings between these two men. As they now sharing the ring in this eight-person mixed tag team match. And Shane Taylor is the type of cat that bled, lived and breathed Ring of Honor. Left hand, that's the boxing not, background of Shane Taylor coming into play. That's not going to do anybody any favors. A shot there. Man, Keith Lee is an amazing Whoa. athlete. Showing you just how amazing. He's just terrific. He's a, you know, athletic big men are, are a rarity in pro wrestling now anymore. Inside the ring, Whoa. Lee Moriarty Look at this. trying to pull one over on Keith Lee and Shane Taylor. Boom. And again, the boxing background coming into play. Shane Taylor from the mean streets of Cleveland. Learned boxing in his youth and certainly is more than capable to put it to use. Now the quick tag out to Lee Moriarty, very recently joining Shane Taylor promotions of the group led by the eponymous Shane Taylor. But look at Moriarty, very technically gifted, but now we're seeing a little more aggression coming out of him. Taylor, one of the great technicians of the game. I'm sure we'll be watching Brian Danielson and Zack Sabre Jr. later tonight. I'll tell you something, this pay-per-view tonight, only in a few minutes, a few minutes away, is gonna be amazing. The matchups, the pairings, the, the contrast in styles. I can't wait. Certainly living up to the name Wrestle Dream as Kojima mows down Moriarty. And now Kojima with Moriarty in the corner. The rapid fire machine gun shots lighten up Lee. Satoshi Kojima just battering the chest of Lee Moriarty. Fans are loving it here in Seattle. And Nigel, even for a well-conditioned athlete like, like Lee Moriarty, to have those chops fired in, that's got to affect your breathing. Yeah, every time the percussion of that shot knocks some little bit out the wind out of you, makes it a bit more hard to breathe. Kojima, the switch Ooh. and the DDT spike Moriarty. And actually, Doug could be enough. The cover and Diamante Whoa, in there to that. break up the pinning predicament, but Billy oh. Starks! Oh, oh my goodness! What a shot! Swung for the fence. Lord. Mercedes Martinez. Take it down, Athena, Billy Starks. You know, the crowd's still arriving here tonight, fellas, but the enthusiasm that we can feel this early is, to me, amazing. The atmosphere tonight on pay-per-view is going to be something that none of us want to miss. Shane Taylor, big headbutt, had staggered Kojima. Kojima very unsteady on his feet, and now Keith Lee! Whoa! I'm buying stock in Keith Lee, that's all I'm saying. What a feat of strength by Keith Lee. Taking down his former partner. And now Moriarty, though, drop kick to the knee. Athena off the top with the offense. <laughs> Moriarty. That really puts the referee in a tough spot because all that was illegal. But Keith Lee. Wow. Like thunder echoing throughout the arena. And now Satoshi Kojima strips off the elbow. Pass oh. and Lariat connects. Oh, boom. What a big old shot that was. And there was plenty. The winner to the fans, the team of Satoshi Kojima, Keith Lee, Billy Starks, and the ROH Women's World Champion, Athena. And they cast the thousands. Yeah, I know you them. talked about the strength of Satoshi Kojima's Lariat. Yeah, synonymous with Kojima.
so many other big men in Japan that as effective as any of them. JR, I love the team of Keith Lee and Satoshi Kojima. Two big guys that can hit yeah. real hard. Heavy-handed guys with competitive spirit. Oh, triangle show, triangle show. Athena has, has smartly wiggled the shoulders to put the pressure on the body instead of the carotid artery there, Caprice. Yeah, Layla Hurst not able to cross those knees, though. So Layla Hurst is really just hanging on. That's why the pressure's steep. Athena's going to try to rip her up. There you go. Oh, the power of Athena! Two! Oh. My God, that's a lot of strength from Athena. Layla Hurst is a compacted individual. She's short and she's strong. She's able, she has a low center of gravity. To be able to pull all that up at one time, that shows the strength and the ability and the heart of our champ. And Caprice, this is only our opening contest here tonight. My God, Rick Bonnie, I'm gonna need something to drink. Our main event and all-star six-man tag match. SAP Gringo Loco take on Commander Gravity Metal League. We have a four-corner tag team bout. Oh my goodness, we have Billy Starks later against Trisha Dora. But these two women wanted to wrestle first. They wanted to set the pace. They wanted to show us what Ring of Honor is all about. Yeah, I don't know if I want to trade punches with Layla Hurst or Athena, but I am proud to see Layla Hurst this deep in the water. My gosh, she's realizing now where she's at. Whoa! Four up through the chest of Athena. Ooh. And look at Athena. It's the challenger. Layla Hurst with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just driving those forearms down through the champion. Oh! That's the second test to the chin that Layla Hurst has. Layla Hurst still on her feet. Oh, wait a minute. Disarm into the cross face. Cross face. Oh. Hurst is so close. Trying to swing that hip out. Trying to switch. She does. Hurst swing the hip into a pinning combination. That's a two count there. Holds on to the wrist. Holds on to the wrist. Look at the left eye. Oh. Into the arm bar. Into the arm bar. It's straight. It's straight. Just locking it in. It's Athena trying with the S grip here to prevent the hyper extension. Athena is fighting for everything she has. She's down to a fingernail. Oh, it's stretched out again. Arm is extended. Arm is extended. Athena. Wow. Oh, nice press. Nice press. Foot to face. This is fighting dirty right here. She's gripping at her cheek. But it's legal. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. That's the fourth test to the chin. And Hirsch, Hirsch is in a bad way here. And now just trying to intimidate Mike Posey. There are some matches that brings an opponent out. This is the coming out match of Layla Hirsch. We're gonna lose. Layla Hirsch has shown herself to be a championship caliber wrestler. Oh! Our current champion shows why she's still champion. The gas tank, the reserve of Athena, almost unparalleled, unmatched. The longer this match goes, it benefits Athena, but one mistake and the title could be around the waist of Hurst. We're in dangerous territory here, Caprice. Dangerous territory, and I've never seen Layla Hurst on the rope with Kabani. And Seattle coming alive, this is indeed awesome. Justified, this is awesome chance. Athena's had his trap on that turnbuckle. Whoa! And she's a chance to cover. Super cartwheel German suplex, and Layla Hurst is going up top. Neil Kick, Neil Kick plays the champ. Layla, oh! Nobody home. Went for it all. Athena, despicable knee. Plants the challenger to the champion retains. This match and still Ring of Honor Women's World Champion Athena. Athena becomes the first wrestler in Women's Ring of Honor competition history to reach 40, 4 0 and 0. And she did so, you know, we said it with Sky Blue, we said it with Willow Nightingale, we said it with Kira Hogan. Wrestlers bring their best fight to the champion, but the champion, Athena, remains on top.
There's something else about Athena when she's saying that, Rick Cavani. Athena pulls the best out of every oh. one of her competitors. My God. Every time I think the match is over, this is what happens. Uh, Billy, Billy Starks, the protege, the minion in training, is, is trying to discourage this behavior. But well, we know what comes next. Well, well, Caprice, last week, last week, Billy was able to, to talk some sense. Hey, Rick Bonnie, every time Billy Starks says Athena's name, Athena looks at Billy Starks. Like, Billy Starks has Athena's attention. Which not everybody can say that. Oh! Oh, and, and Athena. Maybe. Let. What? Maybe Billy Starks is rubbing off for the champion. I mean, even, even Groot in Despicable Me and the Minions, even he had a soft side at some point. Are we seeing this dominant champion? Oh, and there's Maria Canellas Bennett. Yeah. Who told Layla that maybe she wasn't quite ready. Now I got a bone to pick. Set. If Maria wants to bring that discussion, it's process over outcome. I think Layla's ready. Layla proved to the world she's a world title contender. Here we are, once again, Minion Training Session 2. It's like Minion Training 1, but only harder. You know, when Lexi showed a lot of promise, but Billy, <laughs> Billy, <laughs> turn around! Figure it out. Billy still sucks. I'm gonna throw up. Oh God, don't do it. Hit the stairs, let's go ladies, one, two, one, two, let's go! So, Minion Training is a program that I designed for Minion empowerment. And you know, I don't just do it all myself. I listen to others. I take advice from others because that's what... Athena's been great. Yeah. She's kind, understanding, passionate, patient. I mean, yeah. you really can't say a bad word about the girl. Yeah. What would you say she is to <clears throat> us, though? It's like a mentor. Okay. Like a mentor. Okay. Mm. Yeah. You either go this way or that yeah. way, and then whichever way you... Yeah! Athena! Athena! Sing with your chest, I Billy. did! Well, <laughs> it's surprising. Lexi came into this with no experience, and she's honestly been killing it. She's amazing. <sighs> Athena's tough, but I'm just happy to have Lexi here. Yeah, it's just disappointing. Billy's sloppy, her cardio sucks. She just doesn't have what it takes. And I guess this is gonna conclude minion training number two. Lexi, you pass with flying colors. Billy, you still suck. And for that, you get one more very special task to do as punishment. <sighs> TK, my name's Willow Nightingale, and I'm a big loser. Well, nice front face lock into the suplex there. Float over, lateral press. Two. A two count there. Oh, man, that's a beautiful float over with wrist control. Is that a tantrum from Billy Starks? Well, it certainly seemed like it. What? And this is... It's almost like they're melding into one another. And Billy Starks and Athena... As the uncomfortable behavior mm. leads to an opening for Trish, who's using those wow. powerful legs. Oh, Starks able to avoid that lariat. Nice kick by Starks, the boys again. Waist lock here, standing switch. It's Adora, who has Billy. Wheel by to a German cover, two. Wow, my God, the control on the bridge that Trisha Dora had and that low German holding on. Trisha Dora feels it, but needs to capitalize on this rare state that Billy Starks is in. And so Athena now with Billy Starks. Ooh, excuse me, Adora with Billy Starks. 
Swing and a miss on the right. Athena watching from the outside. The forum connects. Get it together, minion. Athena talking down to Billy Starks. That can't be motivating, Caprice. Well, I don't know if she's talking down or just saying get it together. That's just hard coaching. It's like tough love, Riccoboni. It's not because you're being mean. It's because you're waking up hard. This hurts, Riccoboni. Billy Starks is stuck between the bottom rope and Trisha Dora's hips. Nowhere to go there. No give. That's a lot of pressure on the neck. You see a firewoman's carry position there. It starts able to scramble out of it, go to the ropes here. And Stefan Smith making sure Starks can continue. Starks back to her feet, connects on Adora with a forearm. That was, de that was desperation out of Billy Starks, that forearm there. Billy Starks really having to dig deep here. Trish Adora still trying to find her feet. And it's Starks, second rope on the inside, maybe looking to go all the way to the top. She does. That's a smart inside climb. Most people go to the outside. Oh! oh. And that Swanton, she won the tag team match with a couple of weeks ago with Athena, blocked by the knees of Adora. Pump kick Done. misses, rolls up. Two, Billy Starks almost gets a three. Right back to her feet, though. Wow, pulls her right in. Rip oh, body. Caprice! Star 10. Star 10, indeed. Oh, look at, for, look at this. The bridge. Oh, wow, that's it. The winner of this match by submission, Billy Starks. And Billy Starks, who won her last bout with that double underhook, she calls it the Star 10, plants Adora. And there's there's noticeable joy for Athena here. This is another a, a, a height of aggression from Billy Starks as well. You can see that uh, Athena is rubbing off on Billy Starks, and maybe Billy Starks is rubbing off on Athena. Uh, I've never seen the aggression out of Billy Starks, but it's getting her a win, Riccoboni, and your win column, Billy Starks. Did you hear that, though? More stairs? She just won the match. Is she going to make a run? Uh oh Front face lock here. Athena. Oh, my oh, God. God. Let's call that a court buster. This is how you stop somebody in the tracks, man. You get an opportunity at Ring of Honor, and then you realize you're facing the champion. You come with all you got. Ooh. Just, just that second that she used, that Maserati used to taunt the fans, cost her so much. She'll regret that for the rest of the match. And Athena dominating right now with a big time form, much like my son playing as Dan Housen, my daughter playing as Hook, dominate me and AW oh. Fight Forever. Available now on your favorite video game systems as Maserati finds an opening here. Right, she just pushed Athena off the apron. Oh, right in front of us here. Uh -oh. oh, no. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What? Wait. Dude. No way. Oh, my God. That was a pit. Oh, God. She may have knocked Maserati out cold. My God. You, you didn't really need to see that. You could feel it when you heard it. The thud went through my feet, Riccoboni. Oh, oh, no. She's no. not finished. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Get her back in the rain, Athena. Oh, my goodness. You see Posey checking the pulse of Maserati. As any understanding human would, it, it, Posey, he, he might have to. Whenever you see the referee grab the hand of an opponent, the referee is checking to make sure the opponent is capable of still going. It, you have to give the squeeze to say I'm OK. So Maserati's still in this fight, but my God, she's taking so much damage. I don't see how she can come back from this Riccoboni. Think about the wind, the back. Oh, my oh. goodness, the neck snapping down. Oh, God. And this is but one inch. Oh, athletic oh. mats on the outside here. These are the reasons why nobody has gotten past the proving ground of Athena. 40 and 0 hit that historic milestone last week, defeating Layla Hirsch now. That knee into that spine. Caprice, beautiful game plan here because that's exactly the part of the spine that connected first on the outside. There's a literal ice rink here just at the Mavericks Center. The scary thing about Athena is that she is a methodical juggernaut. She's tearing you apart methodically. She knows exactly what she's doing at all times. And we see a wrist lock here. Irish whip off the ropes. Athena charging in. Maserati, big kick here. There you here. go. There Mas you go. Get the Maserati. best out of it. Can she get back into this match here? Flying head scissor. Oh. 
She turned around. Turned around. That's the it. That's out. it. Yeah. And whoa! Wow! That's and the second time Maserati had an opening, hit a good move, and turned her back to the champion. And that is relative inexperience. I mean, Athena has been at the top of the mountain, yet alone in the game. Yeah, the thing about it, Rick Abani, is you can do that in a lot of places, but you can't. Athena's a whole nother level. And scooping up Maserati. Trap. It, oh, my goodness. It's a scary trap right here. You, you angle the trap. Oh, my God. Spine tap kicks. Oh, my God. Just sending pins and needles down the arms, elbows, and hands of Maserati. Athena, though, no one home. Maserati somehow finding yeah, a way. She keeps finding lights, man. She just need to keep them coming. Got that knee coming. Don't look around. Keep coming, Maserati. Get it to her. There you go. Collapsing Athena in the corner. Sends Athena, the champion, to the center. Mm. Caprice, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe we're over five minutes into this bout. Yeah, we are. And Maserati. Yeah, she turned her back again. You can't do that. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's going to be enough. She's going to put her away right here. And look at this choke here. As Billy Starks starts yelling, choker. Yeah, Starks, Starks is rubbing off. On a I mean, the champion's rubbing, rubbing off on Starks. She's and Maserati, that's it. Wow. The winner of this match, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. Oh, come on. Stop. No, come on. Come on. She, and into the cross face. She went from the choke to that high. Double wrist lock. And what is Billy? Oh, no. Billy might be no. saving her life. Billy's keeping her safe, oh. keeping her from crashing her face yeah. on the title. Oh, I, oh goodness. She just hit my God. Well, I thought for a minute. She came. From, I thought that Billy right. was going to. Oh, my goodness. She just, she just made a human disappear. I don't know. I think she left. And Billy. This is like Babe the Pig. I don't know where she went. <laughs> She's lost. Oh, Billy. I know you're young, but you're going to find out over time. This is brought to you on Honor Club by the benefit of video recording, and unfortunately, Athena will be able to see just what happened. But here tonight, 41 and 0 under the Ring of Honor banner, the most dominant, decorated women's champion in the history of ROH, Athena picks up the victory. I am here in my minion uniform and my MIT buddy Billy Starks has a match tonight right here on Ring of Honor. I'm so excited about my match tonight, but I want to talk about minion training part two, Lexi. Okay. You said I suck? No, I didn't say you suck. I just said that maybe there were some things to work on. And I just, <laughs> That's, She didn't say it. I did. I heard it. I heard the yep. heard it. She I said your it. cardio was horrible, mm -hmm. ah, that well, you suck, mm -hmm. that you're not a good wrestler, mm -hmm. that Athena's her bestie, that I you're not really a that. minion. I didn't say anything. But no, listen, I'm a minion. Listen, 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 move you out of the way. Names? Hold, hold. Yeah. This. Like, how long you think that you can trust Athena for? Because any second now, she's going to turn her back she's, on you. You can't it's trust Athena. Happen. She's no good. Mm -hmm. I've known her for a long time. She's turned her back on me many times. Yep. That's my family you're talking about. That's family. Who's got the bestie shirt on? I, I don't see it. it on you. She can have one. I don't see nothing on you. Uh, family? Not even this. <laughs> back up. Back up. Check if there's any money in there. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Don't let them get in your head. Yeah. Good You're luck right. tonight. Thanks, Lexi. Police. Could it be Rochelle's night as Billy Starks into the corner? Bit of a choke, very pleased with herself. And on last week's minion training, Caprice, yeah, it appeared Lexi Nair was sort of taking the minion training a little oh, bit better. God. Ooh. Riveter right there. That's the mom of wrestling right there. Oh, goodness. Wow, big close line there. And Billy Starks yes. taking orders. Looking for the star 10. No, no one home. Oh, 
Oh, oh. That knee went right to the nose of Riveter. Oh, it's the star 10. I took star. Damn. You better find the camera. Wow, look at this. Locking in that cross face. Wow. The winner of this match by submission, Billy Starks. So much more aggressive from Billy Starks. I'll tell you what, Billy Starks is learning a lot from Athena. Certainly is. A quick victory in aggressive fashion. And, and Athena actually looks pleased. Yeah, she, she, she's saying good job. That they actually came up with Athena about it. She said, good job. Look at the high five, though. Yeah. Uh, leaving Billy Starks hanging. And Athena now ordering Billy to the back. And this relationship appears to be mutual, but mutually beneficial in some ways. And they're both rubbing off on each other. Oh, hold on. Who's, Wait a second. Who's behind? Oh, goodness. Mercedes Martinez attacks Billy Starks. The Diamante with the wall chair. Some guerrilla warfare here. Oh, my God. Diamante just DDT the champion. Is Mercedes makes Billy watch. Oh. Athena is out cold, Riccoboni. And the champion is out cold. Left playing next to the champion is her protege, Billy Starks. Yay! Calling her shots. That's what Martinez just did. Do you two even know why we're here, minions, in training? What's going on? We are having a mem a minion empowerment meeting. Because last week, Diabla and that retired hussy Mercedes dropped us. And I don't like when people get the better of me. Do you, minion mm -mm. in training number two? Mm -mm. No, like so you are facing Diabla tonight. Mm -hmm. Someone that I gave advice and damn, I hate that it turned against me. So what are you gonna do when you go out to that ring? I said, what are you gonna do? Shake her hand? No! Baddest one swings first. Baddest one. Baddest one Baddest swings first. One. Right. Are you bad, Billy? Mm -hmm, because Diablo is bad, but my minion right here, my minion, oh. is the baddest. Yes, yeah, she is. Mm -hmm. the baddest. So what are you going to do? I'm going to swing first. That's right. That's what we're going to do. I'm gonna we're going to swing, gonna swing first. first because that's what we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's go. Now, one, two. You punch ah. her square in the face. Right between the eyes, Billy. She still sucks. Let's go. Unbelievable. Right for our connects. Wow, neck breaker. And Diamante has Starks here. Mounting Billy Starks. It's Diamante driving the fists in. And right now, it's Diamante in control. Ooh. Oh, come on. Look at this, it's Diamante. And big double axe handle. I understand Caprice went to the back to speak with Ethan Page, maybe find him for perhaps an exclusive. We will find out if Caprice was able to get a word with Ethan Page. Oh, now it is Billy Starks driven in to the second turnbuckle. Irish whip now into the corner. Trouble here. And look at this, standing dragon sleeper using that height advantage of Billy Starks against her is Diamante driving that knee. And around goes Starks, big time neck breaker. Cover, one, two. And it's Diamante with this cravat here. Hey, Lily. Yeah. Come on, fight back. Do something. Come oh, and you hear Athena trying to encourage in her own way. Billy Starks. Snap mare. It's Diamante. Ooh. Good job. Good job. I need a whistle. I need, I need Off a the ropes. Oh, goodness. Shotgun. 
Drop kick. Cover. Two. Two count on. And you hear the words of encouragement from Mercedes. You hear Athena with a slightly different tone. Ooh, just driving now into the shoulder. Right now, Billy Stark's in a lot of trouble. That undefeated streak in jeopardy here as Diamante, big time knife edge chop. Woo! European uppercut. What's the matter, Billy? And Diamante in the corner, and again, driving through the jaw. And Martinez saying, take a bow. Diamante charging in, big boots caught. Just a little too early on that. That is the timing and presence of a veteran like Diamante who hooks the leg. Cover one, two. Oh, man. And Caprice Coleman. Yeah. We'd like to welcome you back. I know you went backstage to try and get a word with Ethan Page. I tell you what, that's, that's frustration, man, trying to hold up who you are with that type of adversity, but he'll be back. I'm sorry about that with the body. That's all good. I know you hated to miss the beginning of this match, but it's been all Diamante. And there's been, there's been very, ooh! There's been moments in this match, Caprice, where it's been very apparent that Diamante has the experience edge and that this tough love isn't quite working, I think, the way Athena had anticipated. But that's the thing with Diamante. Diamante is a veteran. People overlook that because of the way she looks. She's been in the sport a long time. And any time a veteran is going against somebody like Billy Starks, they, they're trying to outshow her, outproof her, because that is a real thing. These guys, these blue chips come in, and they take the veteran's job to feel like it's a threat for Cabani. Ooh. And Starks. Swinging a miss on the kick. Oh, big knee. And Diamante and Starks going one for one here. Wheelbarrow. Two. Got her. Whoa, oh, winner of this match. Billy. Oh, come on yeah. back in. Absolutely ridiculous, Athena, the Women's Raw Champion. This is becoming a war. Ooh. Athena doing everything she can to protect. But think about it, Rick Abani. Athena is fighting for Billy. And I never thought we'd hear that sentence. Oh, goodness, Diamante driving that forearm in. And now going to town on Athena. And the fallen Billy Starks, all she can do is watch. Tries to get back to her feet, sent back down. And Mercedes, look, what is she looking for under the ring? She's looking for anything she wants, Rick Abani. This is the way you call your shots. I'll tell you what, Martinez never got her title shot back from Athena. And if this is the way you get it, this is the way you do it, Rick Abani. But I don't agree with it. But Athena's fighting with everything she's got. Oh, oh. Both chairs up. And Billy clears Diamante. We got double chairs. And we have every referee we could find. Rick Knox, Bryce Remsburg, Brandon Martinez, Devon Smith, Mike Posey. It's all falling apart here. The last time we saw these four in the ring, Athena was knocked out. And this time, it's Athena and Billy Stark standing tall. Come on. If a picture you lucky there's left there. is worth a thousand words, this is a rivalry I didn't know I wanted to see, and now I can't get enough of it. Single leg lariat there. It has been Martinez who believes she's the true number one contender who did not get her title shot. Great combination. The history between Martinez and Athena. Oh! 
And the history with Diamante and Athena. It was a couple of weeks ago that Diamante came awfully close. This is the third impact to the head of Athena Riccoboni. Hooks the leg, great cover. It starts though just in the nick of time. Did you see that low shoulder roll though? Certainly did. Oh, and look at Billy Stark standing tall to the thrust. But oh. Martinez just too strong. Tell you what, Riccobindo, Billy Starks is having to come to save Athena on a lot of these chances. And Athena's getting the brunt of some huge impact moves just like that one. Cover, two, great combination. Billy Starks just in the nick of time. Caprice, what you said is very important. Athena has looked down her nose at points at the younger Billy Starks. Sure, Starks has a lot to learn. But Starks is shaking it off, coming to the defense of the Women's World Champion. And she has saved this team right now. She's been the MVP and the reason they're still in this match. Absolutely. And if you look at Athena, if I, from my eyes, Athena did not kick out of that last move. Billy Starks saved her. And it's... And it's Diamante, and the kind of chaos that we're seeing is indicative of the Stadium Stampede match you would see in Fight Forever. I play it on PlayStation 5. Ooh, Hook, Danhausen just added so many great AEW stars. Wow. Former Ring of Honor World Champs like Adam Cole in the game as well. Played on all your favorite systems. No playing here, though, as the big drop kick in the corner, Caprice. Great Jones character, too. I like that part. <laughs> I made myself. We got two characters really unloading here on Billy Starks. Ooh. Ooh. They have isolated Billy Starks, and there's not much Athena can do about it. Like I said, this game plan is working anytime. Yeah. Oh. Look at this. Big boot. And these tornado rules have benefited Martinez. And Diamante to start, but now it's Athena and Billy Stark trying to take advantage. Combination spear. Oh, the forearm, though, changes the trajectory. Swing and a miss. Athena catches Diamante. Calling for Billy. Nice. Athena and Billy on the same page. Working like a well-oiled machine. They're back in this bout. Gonna get some hustle and flow out of this move, Riccoboni. Certainly are. Double suplex. And I'm not saying what the crowd was saying. I don't want to get in any trouble. Big thrust kick to the midsection. I'm just saying, Billy Starks is in charge. Billy Starks is in charge. Say you're in charge. Spinning heel kick, takes the head off of the former Women's World Champion, wow. DDT. Look at this combination. Wow. Oh, look at the strength of Athena. Diamante back up again. Sending Diamante down. Rolling over, hooks the leg, two. Wow. Athena realizes she is in a deep one, and Billy Starks is realizing it too, but I am honored at watching how Athena and Billy Starks are working so well together against this well-oiled machine. I'll tell you what, this match, the pendulum has swung back and forth. And right now, the champion and her protege, the 18-year-old Billy Starks, are in control. But these moments can be fleeting here, Caprice. Their strategy seemed to get knocked off a little off kilter when Martinez and Diamante brought the heat at the beginning of the match. They brought the fire, maybe caught them off guard. They got to pick a lane and stay in it if they want to win this bout. I tell you what, in these tornado matches, Riccoboni, the name of the game is to get one of the opponents on the outside of the ring so you can focus on the other opponent in the middle of the ring. That's what Martinez and Diamante has been able to do. Athena and Billy Starks have been keeping their opponents inside the ring. And a series of attacks in the corner. Billy Starks celebrating here. He's doing a lot of celebratory movement, Riccoboni. She has. But I'll tell you what, it's, a, it's almost like that, a dog with a shock collar, you know what I mean? She's. She's getting so used to being yelled at by Athena. She does something right. Big body slam. She wants to celebrate. Beautiful. Beautiful. Standing moonsault there. What you talking about? Wow. Oh. Oh. Bit of a rock 
rocket launcher there. Bumps the outside leg to Martinez. With, with, with Billy Stars, would that be a shooting star? <laughs> the shooting starts. I like it. <laughs> As Athena does not like Mercedes Martinez, the woman that says she is the rightful number one contender. Hadn't got a rematch since final battle last year. That look in Athena's eyes is let's put this together. Mm. The chance of light her up. First whoop that trick and now light her up, but it's Diamante doing the lighting up. I thought you couldn't say that. Well, as long as there's no, you know, target of the, I can't say who is the T word. Well, the crowd at it again <laughs> here in Memphis, home of the Blues, and whoop that trick as in the corner. Look at this, Starks and Athena, but it's Martinez bringing things up. Great decision on the suplex. Yeah, Starks and Athena was going for a double suplex off the top. Martinez breaking that up. Now she has Billy Starks in the power bomb position, putting Diamante in a great position as well. Hung out to try. My God, Whoa. power bomb blockbuster. Yeah. Two, got her. The winners of this match are team member Mercedes Martinez and Diamante. And, and Athena is beside herself because Caprice is just sinking in with me. I don't think I've ever seen this before at Ring of Honor with Cabani. Athena, she's never dropped the decision on Ring of Honor. It's single. Oh! The women's champ still undefeated in single action. As Mercedes Martinez pulls the title high. Wow, what a way to act for a rematch after a win against the champion's team. Martinez tosses the belt back defiantly. What a win for Martinez and Diamante. If you say you want a title shot, that is one way to stake your claim. Huge win. Athena's called another Mim. I know. I'm scared. I... I don't... I don't think this is gonna be... What good. the hell? What the hell, Billy? What was that out there? We lost! You cost me my first loss in Ring of Honor! You did! Not Diablo! Not that... What, that... That hussy Mercedes! You! Because you suck! You are trash! And time and time again I try to build you up, but yet you just... You just... Suck, Billy! It's not my fault! Who are you talking to? If it weren't for me, you'd be on Dynamite, or Rampage, or Collision, being the 18-year-old sensation that loses every match. But yeah, here I am, trying to build you up, trying to pull you out of the gutter like the trash that you are to be something special. And what do you do in return? You lose! You lose! Here I thought you were my equal, Billy! And no! You don't talk, you listen! because now I have to defend my Ring of Honor Women's World Championship against that porcelain, overhyped, should be retired by now, hussy Mercedes Martinez, and it's all your fault, I'm Billy. Sorry. Get it together! <laughs> <laughs> Athena trying to get the crowd involved here. As Athena off the ropes, diving through, crashing into the ringside area. Athena giving herself up, Caprice, we gotta see that again. And great footwork to, to get that last push yeah. through the bottom and middle rope. That's exactly what I was getting ready to say, Rick Abani, that knowing that she had one more step and took it, added to the momentum of Athena, that's what type of champion that we have. Oh, and Diamante. Who is ringside unopposed with the absence of Billy Starks? That's the second that Martinez needed to gain control. And you better believe Martinez is going to use it and capitalize on it. Face lock. Oh, just dumping Athena onto Bobby Cruz and the timekeeper's table here. And they are 
getting dangerous here. Well, how many times have we seen Athena do this to all of her athletes? Take them on the outside run and introduce them to so many parts of the ring, and the barricades, the chairs, the tables. Now Martinez is just returning volley. I got you, I got you, move, I need the chair, move! The chair. What? Diamante with a chair. She'll get Martinez disqualified. Yeah. She'll lose this hard fought opportunity. Definitely doesn't want to do that. And the cravat, oh, onto the chair. Referee's discretion, but if it's not being used in an offensive manner, you see very few referees call for the DQ. This is all fair game. Athena trying to fight out. Grabbing the wrist of Martinez, the champion. Fighting essentially two on one at this point. In a very bad position, now changing the position. Athena on the outside. I don't know who I would give the advantage to on the outside of the ring. Both of these guys, Athena and the OG, are very dangerous on the outside of the ring. He's going to try to superplex a Rick Abani. Are you kidding me? The, the balance of Athena. There's no way. With Martinez in the way. Wow! The pass driven on the outside. The balance of Athena. The fulcrum, the torque. Look at the way the hips and the lower back crash first, causing whiplash in the neck of Martinez. Oh, Athena couldn't have hit that more perfectly to stun Martinez. But you also have to realize, Riccoboni, Athena is hurt too. That superplex takes a lot out of both athletes. Both athletes hit the floor. Martinez just hit the floor with more velocity. That is an amazing observation, Caprice, as Diamante trying to get both athletes. And you hear referee Mike Posey. There's a 20 count in Ring of Honor. The women's world title does not change hands via the 20 count. So it is in Mercedes' best interest to not only answer this count, but to try and get Athena back in as well. That's right. Championship doesn't change hands on the count out, but you can see desperation in the eyes of the champion with that move, and the champion not able to move like she needs to. And that count is not slowing down from Mike Posey. Five seconds left. Both challengers, challenger and champion, trying to climb to the inside of the ring. Martinez may make it in first at 17. And I don't know if either competitor knows. They got to know that they're at 18. I don't know if they know the other athlete is not made it in. We are at 19, and we are not at 20. The match will continue. Neither the champion nor challenger has made it to their feet yet. But you can see in their eyes the determination and the fire is lit. One wants to become champion, and one wants to stay champion. The eyes locked. Big four connect. And another. And the challenger starting to get the higher ground. Goes to one knee. Back to vertical base first. Trying to drive Athena down. Whoa. The backhand. Backhand. Challenger and champion stun. Forearms delivering here. It's the part that I like when Athena has to dig down to another level, and we will always want to see but the champion rise to the occasion as the OG lays on the onslaught and is not finished with the knee to the side of the head of the champion. Oh, catches the wrist of Athena. Spinning back kick, kick up, and up the ladder within its ear. The combinations that's made this women's champion so defiant. And Martinez with a sight of suplex. Martinez, that battle tested. Wow, I don't know how much that chin has been tested, but we're getting ready to see how much of it has been taken out of the challenger. The crowd coming alive here in Connecticut for our main event, a rematch of last year's final battle ROH Women's World Championship bout. The woman that won the title last year going up to the top. She won it with the old face, Caprice. She might be trying to load it up here. Diamante up to the ropes. Allows the challenger a split second. The 
Bad oh. position, Riccoboni. And the, the OG oh. drop. Got it! Shoot the half off the leg! New champion here! No! This is where Martinez is trying to have to realize you have to keep going. Don't worry about her kicking out of your finisher. Put it on her again. And she may be looking for the submission here. The Brass City Sleeper. The legs are locked. The wrists are locked. Can she wind it down? She does. And looking to lock the neck. She cannot do it, Athena. Fighting, fighting, and clawing her way. Athena did that the last time in the championship match they had. Fighting her way out of that. One, two. Mercedes tucked the shoulder. Blocked out the cross face there. Turning defense into offense. Athena back to her feet with a big forearm. Wow. Collapses Martinez. Challenger falling face first like a seven foot giant falling to the ground. Unbelievable contest we're seeing here tonight in our main event. This is what Ring of Honor is all about. This is why the Women's World title is the most prestigious title. Oh, look at this, swing and a miss. Oh my goodness. The title Athena has single-handedly put on the map, but able to do so because the trails blazed before her going up top. Looking for the O face. Got it! Cover! Wait a second. Come on! Five, six. Martinez Six. is not moving, Riccoboni. Diamante knows this match is over. Oh. Six second visual pin on the challenger. But Diamante prevents it from counting. Oh! oh. Witch splitter! Incredible! And Martinez now finds her way to the corner. Try A thief. What is. Try to rip wow. off the turf. Just rip that clean off. Oh! oh. oh, oh, oh. There's oh, a no. metal buckle behind that Rick of body. And Athena just hit it. Fisher, woman, driver. Leg hook. Arms locked. No! How does Athena kick out of that? I've got to see that again. Athena tearing off the turnbuckle, exposing her own self to imminent danger. Dropped on her head. Planted, gets two, we're back to live action. She hit the back of her head twice, Rick Abani. The champion hit the back corner, which is just a steel buckle in the back of it. And then the champion was dropped on the top of her head, somehow finding a way out and still in the match. But the OG is towering over the champion with bad intentions. Looking for the OG drop, perhaps, once again. Separation created. Swing and a miss. Caught. It's Athena. Front face lock. Blocked by Martinez. Holds the wrist. Swing and a miss by Athena. Waist lock here. Looking for an O'Connor roll. One, two. Athena able to get a point. What was that? Athena. Wing splitter. Cover. Two. That's it. The winner of this match, and still, Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena! Wow. No way! Wow. This, this. Wow. After the verbal abuse, we've seen We've seen true mentorship and, and signs of true friendship. But I thought Athena crossed the line last week only for this week. Billy Starks? Billy Starks trying to prove herself to the champion. Saving the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship for Athena. This 18-year-old striking the challenger and then offering the title, bestowing it upon the champion.
the most dominant women's world champion in the history of Ring of Honor, Athena, takes on the former champion, Mercedes Martinez. Conspicuous by her absence, Billy Starks. Get it together! Both Athena and the OG are very dangerous. One wants to become champion, and one wants to stay champion. Martinez is not moving. Diamante, who is ringside unopposed with the absence of Billy Starks. Wait, what was that? Athena, that's it? Billy Starks? After the verbal abuse? You suck, you are trash. And time and time again, I try to build you up, but yet you just suck, Billy! Billy? Athena's called another emergency mem, but it's gonna be fine, okay? I'm gonna be here for you, I have your back. Deep breaths like we practiced. <sighs> Let's stay on your ground. I will. Last time is not gonna happen again, yeah. I promise. Thanks, Lexi. Yeah, of course. Hey, so I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Apparently my best isn't good enough for you. I'm trying, I'm truly trying. I hit her with a belt, what more do you want me to do? Billy, if it takes me yelling, screaming, choking you, whatever, blasting you in the face, kicking you in your gut to bring just an ounce of violence out of you, I'll do it every damn time, do you hear me? Yeah. I am here to inspire you to be better. Not to be trash like Kentucky. Not to be trash like Diablo and that retired hussy Mercedes. But to be Billy Starks, minion 400,237 and three quarters. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. So as of right now, you've impressed me. And your suspension from MIT has been lifted. No smiling, no cheering. Okay. Don't make me regret this. Give me some. Let's go. Oh, no, that's right. That was a good aim, <laughs> Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh. They certainly are, and Athena, yeah, I gotta give Athena credit, because last week, Caprice, the title in jeopardy, it was Billy Starks who made that sink or swim decision, the angel on one shoulder, the demon on another, and there's a demon looking for the baseball slide there. Ooh. And it's Heidi. Ring of Honor's debut here in the Interest Center in Kansas. Did you see the ease that Athena picked Heidi up? Are you kidding me right now? Oh. Wow. Heidi, yeah, Heidi beating the 200 mark, Rick Bind. This is not a small woman here. And Athena just hoisted her and readjusted her before she slammed her onto the outside of the ring. This is the type of impact Athena needs to do if she wants to beat someone like Howitzer, though. Absolutely have to take the fight to her. Athena's single winning streak still intact, Caprice. You gotta wonder though, a couple of weeks ago in that tag team bout where it was her and, her and Billy Starks against Mercedes Martinez and Diamante, if that loss is starting to give her any sort of doubt, last week the title in jeopardy maybe for the first time ever in Athena's reign. Well, you know, sometimes uh, anything like that happened, it depends on the athlete, how they bounce back and forth. Athena can, can take that and realize that she can't sleep at any time, or she can take that and realize that she can be beat at any time. And e each one of those decisions uh, have their own playbook inside of it. If she takes the first one, she realizes she can be beat at any time, and she takes every match serious and doesn't look past anybody. Now the Irish whip into the corner. Of course, Athena would love to go into final battle Friday, December 15th, live for all Honor Club subscribers. As the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, already the longest reign, already the longest tenured, already the most defenses, already, in my opinion, the greatest women's champion Ring of Honor's ever had. Yeah, she's doing a phenomenal job, and the confidence that I love seeing exuding from the champion is something that I'm seeing a little bit surprised now, only because 
of the athlete that I know Heidi is. And right as you say that, that was flush. On cue, Heidi Howitzer driving the big clothesline down to Athena. And of course, if this match, if Heidi lasts the 10 minutes, Caprice, Heidi will yeah. get a shot at the Ring of Honor Women's World title. This is non-title, but Heidi could earn herself a shot here, a good position to do so. Oh! That was like cat light maneuver there with that lung blower out of nowhere. Athena bringing in a big gun. That forearm was right under the chin, Rick Abani. This could be a knockout. That's it. Yeah. Who would this match? The Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena. A sensational win for Athena, whose singles winning streak here in Ring of Honor continues. We are on the road to final battle Friday, December the 15th, live for all Honor Club subscribers, Caprice. And Athena looks, dare I say, untouchable right now. You know, oh, the, oh, oh come God. on. Not this again. Textbook Athena right here. Right out of the playbook. As, as she going to make Heidi kiss the belt. And Athena has defeated just about everybody. This isn't proving anything except answering to the insecurities in her own mind, I believe, Caprice. Well, you know what? It's, it's also a certain dominance for Kabani. Athena's always leaving her opponents face down, beaten when she walks out the ring, and that intimidates everybody in the locker room. Athena remains your Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. As we are on the road to final battle, Billy Starks elated. And what a victory in quick order. I have gathered you here for this mem. <laughs> for two reasons. Lexi, what was that crap with Willow on Collision? Are you best friends now? What is, what's going on with you <laughs> two, know. huh? Your yeah. best friends, you're taking pictures on social media, but you want her to they, win? What is that no, crap? No, they, they told me to say that. Like, <laughs> legally, I, I, had, I had to say that. Well, never again. You told him Athena said so. Yeah, don't do it again. Until further notice, you will be demoted and noted as MIT number one. No Can longer Bessie. Me? Billy, tonight you have a match against Rachel Ellery. Don't take it lightly. And prove to me that a sorry is not just a quick fix. Okay. Show me your violence. Show me your anger and beat the tar out of that porcelain hussy just like I did. And for me, final battles in my hometown. It's true. It's true. That's <laughs> exciting. No smile. Okay. And I can't wait to see which porcelain hussy steps up so I can break them. Let's roll out. Yeah. Here we go. Forearms that really starts just throwing. This almost looks like Athena's forearms. They're playing with the chin. That's a dangerous thing to play with. Oh, and Ellering. That clothesline right under the jaw. And catching yeah. the ear, and that may have hit the off button for young Billy Starks. Athena not impressed at all. And Ellering may be taking advantage of the voice in Billy Starks' head that still questions. Ooh, that loss from a couple of weeks ago in tag action. Big swipe kick. Clothesline sends Billy Starks down. But Rachel is hurt as well. Rachel got caught twice before she hit Billy once. If anything, this resets the match. And I want to see who gets to their feet first because Billy Starks is showing a lot of heart. But we know Rachel is being a veteran. Sometimes she'll buy this time to recover. And Starks going to the corner in which Athena, the world champion, is in. Rachel. Getting back to a vertical base first. Yeah, Rachel got to a vertical base without assistance, Rick Abani. That says a lot about Rachel's endurance. And nice kick there from Stark. Starks with the rear waist lock into the German. Ellering back up to her feet, but Days. Starks looking for another one. Catches Ellering. Wow. And Ellering with the strong legs. Says something about the strength of Starks to be able to get two. And now three in a row. Into the bridge. Two. Ooh. That was a powerful bridge by Billy Starks. Billy Starks was still pressing into the shoulders of Rachel Ellering for get that count. Rachel had to kick hard out of that. 
And now second rope on the inside, all the way to the top. Ooh, the Prada Jet. Bring it back down to the mat. Caught her laser on the inside. Billy Starks is in a lot of trouble as long as Rachel's that close to her. Yeah. And Ellering with ease. Firewoman's carry position. Wow, into the TKO. TKO there. Hooks the leg. Two. Ooh, and, and maybe, just maybe, didn't have enough to cover. It looks like maybe a nerve was was struck on that German suplex. That left shoulder cinching up. She couldn't get that other arm down, Caprice. Yes, yeah, sometimes you do a move with somebody and it hurts you as well. Just some little kinks in the neck. And that could have cost Rachel from making a complete cover uh, on that move from Billy Starks. And that's lucky on Billy Starks' path. Damn right. Damn right you are. Oh, and it's Ellering. Irish up into the ropes. Following, oh, look at that. Great ring positioning by Starks. Yeah. Able to send Ellering out. It starts with the full head of steam. Catches Ellering. A lot of aggression by Billy Starks. I've never seen Billy Starks stomp somebody on the outside. Look at the face of Billy Starks. And now looking to send Ellering into the barricade. Oh, goodness. Ellering sent crashing into that barricade on the outside. The despicable movement by Billy Starks here. Ooh. See what you did there, the minion pun. I like it, Caprice. As Billy Starks all the way up top now. Once again, this time no Ellering to stop her. Swan time! Oh my God. Sit time, cover, two. Yeah. That's it. The winner of this match, Billy Starks! And I will give Athena credit for having the restraint to only give verbal advice in this match. And that, that killer instinct coming out little by little from Billy Starks, in my opinion, was what won her this match, Caprice. Yeah, but it's also Athena letting Billy Starks do what she needs to do. Here we go. Oh. And we. We don't need to see this. We don't. The match has been won. Billy Starks. Oh, Wait a second. Oh, come on. Now, I remember so many times Billy Starks stopped Athena from doing this type of stuff. Now Billy Starks is doing it. This is just, this is breaking my heart right now. This is. Whoa! Wait a minute! Are you kidding me? Layla Hirsch! Now, Rachel, earlier the night, ran off the Renegades. Return of favors here. You got my back, I got yours. Oh, it. On Athena. Athena making an offer for Layla to, to join the minions. And there's no way Layla would take that offer. She just came down to save Rachel. Every, everybody wants to train Layla Hurst because they see so much into her, just like we see so much into next week. With full gear. Maria Canellis, the Renegades. What? That's, that's not a pairing that I expected. This tag team match is up for one ball with a 20 minute time limit. Team number one, the team of Billy Stocks and the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, the Bowen Goddess, Athena! Ring of Honor, are they, are they matching? That's the crazy part. The week that Athena, the week that she wore all black, Billy Starks wore all black. This week, Billy Starks back in the colorful gear. Athena brings out her colorful gear. Their opponents, the team of Brooke Havoc and Johnny Ruby. I, I'm not sure what's going on. We see Brooke Havoc there and Johnny Ruby. What is what is afoot here? I mean, they, it's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Well, every time we see Billy Starks, you know, she has that smile on her face, but we start to see that character changing a little bit. And you can't deny it now, Rick Bonnie. Billy Starks is a very aggressive. She had been the rules. Absolutely. And 
Oh, Ooh, goodness. It's making a break in. Athena trying to break the jaw. I'll tell you what, Athena breaking all kinds of records as well. Most defenses, most days as world champ. And breaking records on shophonor.com. With her sales, you can get all the new Minion merchandise, the Athena shirts, and more. But in trouble here. Deep stacked up. Athena has, that's the strength of our champion. My goodness. Woo so, uh, Athena has everything, Rick Bonnie. She's fast, she's strong, she's dominant and aggressive. You, that's, that's a champion. And tag made to Billy Starks. Oh, Ooh, nice jawbreaker. And Johnny Robbie makes the tag. Recently debuted for New Japan Strong. It comes Brook Havoc. Nice drop down. Boots up. And rolling through. Body scissor. Wow. Billy Starks grabbed that body scissors, thinking she was going to get a real bower out of that. And Havoc here with an opportunity. Out of the Nightmare Factory, Brooke mm. Havoc, a product, kick wow. to the back. Look at that, that kick to the back, but Billy Starks saw it and got the referee's attention. Posey did not see it, and Billy Starks with that forearm. That's what I mean mm -hmm. about Billy Starks, Riccoboni. And that's a page, and this is all pages. Yeah. Out of Athena's playbook, that forearm down to the mouth, to the punch. Ground and pound. Might not be able to continue here. What? Yeah. Is Billy Starks fussy at Posey? <laughs> That's, that's Athena tantrum, Riccoboni. And a tag made. Athena back in, defeated Heidi Howitzer last week. Mercedes Martinez, oh, with the aid of the title belt with Billy Starks two weeks ago. It's Athena with the despicable knee. Planting havoc, two, that's it. The winners of this match, the team of Billy Starks and the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena. A lot. What? What is, what is this? That's Billy Starks. Is this who she is now? Uh, you can't is deny it? Rick Abani. We saw it in the match. We see every week just a little more dirt under the fingernail of Billy Starks coming oh. from the champion and the champion's approval and the smile. But just poisoning the mind of the 18-year-old Billy Starks is Athena. You can't argue with Athena's success. Oh, even as the challenges pour in, whether it be Diamante and Mercedes Martinez who say they're not done, whether it is Kira Hogan, Willow Nightingale, or even Thunder Rosa, who recently called out Athena on Twitter. But when you're as dominant as Athena Caprice, you can, you can take those challenges and just roll with it, it's, it's wild. She talking to me? Yeah, this is it, porcelain, Rick and Bonnie. Let's take it to Lexi Nair. I am here with our women's ROH world Forever. Forever ROH women's Forever world Forever ROH women's world champion. There you go. Uh, of, of course, of course. Uh, we just saw you two beat up some porcelain hussies. This phrasing is so good. How are we? How are we feeling? You know, we went out there, we had a great match, and Billy. I did a good job, right? I did a great job, boss. Bill, Billy has shown more violences in her, um, in her wrestling, yes. Um, and I, you know, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere, you know? But final battle, I'm scoping out the entire women's division, and God, they're all trash, aren't they? Yeah. That's yes. the yes. Yes. Yes, they are trash. They are porcelain hussies. But that brings me to you two. MIT. You can't stay here forever. MIT number two. MIT number one. We are here. And let's just say you're either gonna step up or I'm gonna stomp you out of MIT. What does that mean, Lexi? It was that definitely a threat. One thousand percent. That was a threat. What were we supposed to do? We're MIT buddies. Hello, minions! <laughs> it is your forever ROH Women's World Champion and minion in training number one, 
and we are here to issue a special open challenge to any porcelain hussy that thinks that they can handle us in the ring. So if you're brave enough, step up, or we're gonna stomp you out. Roll out, minion. Dude. Can you imagine the names staking their claim right now? Shibata, Eddie Kingston. We've heard Mark Briscoe's name involved. The names cover here, one, two, Athena trying to ward off a potential challenge from Rousey. And what a, I mean, that would, with no offense to Willow or Diamante or, or anyone, that would have been the biggest pin of Athena's career here in Ring of Honor. I tell you what, that's worth the prescription of Honor Club alone, Rick Bonnie. Just to see these two. Oh, oh face block. Oh, beautiful slam, Arbor, Arbor. Kelsey was waiting for it. Athena's in the middle of the ring. No place to go. She can't grab the hands. She cannot oh. grab the hands to block the arm from being stressed oh. out, Rick Wait a Bonnie. minute, stacks up Rousey, but it's a triangle now. It's into a triangle choke. It's into a triangle choke. Athena trying to get the pin. Oh. Athena's got the leverage. Lifting Whoa. Rousey up. Athena's got the leverage. Plants Rousey down. Rousey bears the oh, eggs on. She hung on. The arm is stressed out, Rick Bonnie. Athena can tap here. That's what Athena, Billy Starks. Billy Starks, Swanton. Pump hit him for Marina. Whoa! Shafir and Rousey have bought some daylight. Athena, I've never seen in that situation before. All women down, and we're still got so much to go for, Rickabody. This is indeed awesome. We are thankful for the fans here at Ring of Honor. What a great journey it's been, year one, Ring of Honor on Honor Club. And this is the type of action we're thankful to call week after week. The baddest woman on the planet, the greatest Ring of Honor women's champion of all time, going out and tooth and nail. Wow. Spinning kick takes your fear down. Kick catches. And it is Rousey and Athena. Look at Rousey climb, Athena. Back to the arm, Rousey up top. Athena has a choice to slam or to sit. I don't know what Athena's gonna do, but she has a short time to fade away. If Athena drops and starts oh, she's, fading, she's biting. Athena's gonna she go bought. to sleep. Hold she bit second. Rousey, she bit Rousey. Whoa! Electric chair, Jeremy, cover! Two, no! You know what, Rick Abani, whoever wins this would be an upset because if Ronda Rousey pins Athena, we've seen the first time Athena's been pinned, and I don't know how long on Ring of Honor, and if Ronda Rousey gets beat by Athena, she spoils her debut. Tag made, you're absolutely right. Athena has never been defeated or pinned on Ring of Honor. She's lost one tag team bout. Billy Starks figured in that decision. Shafir tagged in, Starks tagged in. And Shafir will rewind from Starks. Man, how good is Billy Starks? And she's 18. 18 years old. Ooh, lost her footing. And Shafir. Billy Starks lost her footing right there on the top rope and only had that second to recover. And Shafir capitalized on it. Oh, and pushing Shafir away. Now Great char adjustment. Oh. Charging in. Now sent down to the mat. And look at that, the boots. Now second rope on the inside, going all the way to the top. Starks, ooh, lost it again. And look at Shafir, though, staying on yeah. top of Starks. Front face lock here, second rope on the inside. Starks in a bad way, but has those legs clinched. Athena able to make the tag, very smart move there. Shafir doesn't see Athena. The world champ has Shafir in a dangerous position here. Starks up top. Oh, Rousey. Neutralizes oh, Starks. Oh, my goodness. Shafir, two, rolls up. Big kick. Drives through Athena. Wow! Oh. Shafir. Billy Starks eliminated. The champion's by herself. Rousey's tagged in. And it's Rousey and Athena. 
Shafir making the most of her five seconds. And Shafir to Rousey, who drives Athena down. The leg, leg to Wall. Wall, Wall, Wall. Two count only. Everybody in the Kia form is looking in anticipation of this match, knowing that this match is one that no one thought would happen, and now we can't keep our eyes off it, Riccoboni. And it's the baddest woman on the planet, the greatest combat female fighter in history, Ronda Rousey, may have just been knocked out by the form of the greatest Ring of Honor women's champion ever. If she was knocked out, Athena does not have the wherewithal to capitalize, to make the cover. Athena looking to make a tag to Billy Starks, who has been, in my opinion, a VIP in this match and the youngest person. Tag made, and it comes Starks. It comes Shafir. Shafir, stretch muffler, stretch muffler. Transitioning now, catching the arm. Nice drop on the hips by Starks to block the That's suplex. That's a choke. That's a choke. Oh, wait a minute. It's a cradle. Two. And Starks almost pulls off. A huge pin there. My goodness, Billy Starks is so elusive here. And very impressed on his smart game plan. Keeping Shafir down with the knee so Shafir doesn't go anywhere. The champion is tagged in. Absolute star making performance here from Billy Starks. Who has Shafir in the gory special position? The Gory special in to those cold breaking knees too, and Rousey oh. able to break things up. Rousey able to break things up. Billy Starks wrestling the and perfect looking match for the here. Tag. Looking for the tag to get in. Rousey. Wants to win in her Ring of Honor debut. Wants to make a statement to pin the greatest Ring of Honor women's champion of all time. Great back heel trip there. Tag me! Emphatic tag me! Rolling through into the ankle lock. Ankle lock caught. Double leg takedown. Shapir. Ankle locks in stereo. This could be it. This could be all she wrote. Ankle locks in stereo. Starks rolling through. Athena rolling out. Rousey into the corner. May have crashed that shoulder into the steel post. You heard that, Riccoboni. Whoa. Athena. Now Athena going up top looking for the old face again. It was blocked earlier by Rousey. She got it. Athena hits the old face. Posey knowing what he's doing at oh. all times, Riccoboni. I would not have been able to make that call, but Billy Starks is stuck on the top by Shafir. Crossbody. Oh! And Athena may have had Rousey pinned. We will never know for sure. But Athena realizes she's not the legal person in the ring, Riccoboni. Billy Starks is, and Billy Starks. Shafir has Athena trapped. Billy Starks is by herself. Billy Starks dead center. Billy Starks getting ready to tap. Readjustment by Rousey with the body. In the arm bar, that's it. The winners of this match by submission, the team of Arena, Shafir, and Rowdy, Ronda Rousey. Absolutely unbelievable turn of events. Billy Starks, a star before our eyes because she hung with the baddest woman on the planet and one of the most dangerous women on the planet, Marina Shafir. But it was the shock, the awe, the power, the control, the finesse of the debuting Ronda Rousey here on Thanksgiving in Ring of Honor. Ronda Rousey, Marina Shafir, victorious at our main event, Caprice. That's the way you make the debut. That's the way you come in the ring of honor. Hold on a second. Athena, oh. not finished. Oh, did you, did you ever believe you'd see this? Absolutely not. 
How many times has oh. Athena stood over her and opponents and with the title in hand? We got something. And, and Rousey knew, did you hear? Her? What do you do with the you belt? You swing and you hit your defenseless opponents with the belt. That's what Rousey said. Rousey clearly coming to Ring of Honor with a game plan in mind. We are four Fridays away, just three weeks away from final battle. Live for all Honor Club subscribers, Friday, December 15th, Garland, Texas. And if this is a sign of things to come, sign me up. For Caprice Coleman, I'm me and Rick Abadi. Happy Thanksgiving, happy wrestling. We'll see you next week, right here at Ring of Honor. Who knows will show up? You know what, I just don't, I just don't understand it. How can you be so good at singles matches, but every time we tag, we lose? But you know what, I promised myself, I wasn't gonna get mad about this because I expected you to be the weak link. I'm sorry, and I refuse to be upset time and time again because you're a failure and you fail me. But you know what, tonight, <laughs> tonight you can fix it, Billy. Tonight you're gonna go one-on-one -on -one with Marina Shafir and you're gonna beat the brakes off her. You're gonna set an example after she and her little buddy embarrassed us last week. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Go get ready for your match. Okay. Lexi, back me up on this one. You ready? Y yes. Eddie Kingston, I know that you don't come to my show very often and you haven't been here for a while, but the next time that I hear you talk about my show and me as ROH Women's World Champion not carrying my weight, oh, I'm gonna backfist you back to the future. Backfist to the future. Let me get one thing straight. My back is so heavy from carrying not only every porcelain hussy I've been in the ring with, oh, not right. only the women's division, oh, no, but right. the entire damn mm -hmm. show, Eddie. You tell him, girl. I am the standard at Ring of Honor. I am the workhorse of this she entire show. She is her. And it's about damn time you put some respect on the fallen goddess, the minion overlord, the alpha, the ROH gatekeeper. Mm -hmm. But most of all, you're forever Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. Forever wins. Rob, champion! Mwah. And that because she starts to care a little bit less about the rules, a little bit less about her opponents, and it's all about the wins. Well, the, blue, the blueprint has been laid out by Athena. Ooh, that wrist control is kicked to the face. That's insult to injury. And maybe a little bit of revenge from earlier in the bout from Marina, as Marina, though, grabbing a hold of the wrist of Billy Starks. Catches the front face lock again. Wow. Single leg ankle pick there. It's Marina who plants in a, ooh, and a broken table into the single leg of herself. Oh, right? Wow. On the jaw. Marina was reaching in, and while she was reaching in, Billy Starks threw that forearm, letting it flush on the jaw. Marina might be out cold, Riccoboni. That's those lights oh. out there. No, Marina's back up. Nice trip. Absolutely. Taking the leg out on oh, those big kicks. Look at Marina. And Marina, this fire has been unlocked. Breaking down. Billy Starks there. Ooh. Downstairs, across the jaw, inside leg hook, two. And a nice, powerful cover, but a great kick out from Billy Starks. But did she empty the tank on that kick out, Caprice? Does she trust herself enough to pace herself to be able to kick out later in the event she can't get some offense going here? I tell you what, this is survival. This is where the conditioning goes in. And every time I underestimate oh. Billy Starks, I see something brand new from a oh. nice kick. But Shafir is showing she could take a lot of punishment. But that right there, that lariat from Shafir, all it did was give her space. See, she hit the lariat but had nothing to cover with. And this has been an absolute war. Exceeding all of our expectations in terms of the development of Billy Starks into a true star. Marina Shafir unlocking that second gear. The match resets. These two women giving absolutely everything they have. Everything that's left in the gas tank to determine a winner here tonight. Both women reestablishing a vertical base. It's Starks delivering. Shafir returning volley. The game right here, Rick Abani's wrist control. 
both athletes have grabbed wrist controls, which means I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to fight here to the death. And right now, Marina's having a better end of it, breaking down. Billy starts again, and now Ooh. the kick to the back. And you can tell oh. Oh, that that advantage could be there. You saw the lat spread. The vascularity of Shafir, a training regiment like no other. And that strength and conditioning coming into advantage here. Look at this submission. The tire up. Oh, that leg. That leg is going left to right. That knee has nowhere to go. You feel your ligament stretching right there. You can see his shoulder stretching right over to a pin. Oh, Stark's able to prevent the pin by a hair there. Oh my God, this is a fear lock. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, and Stark's very smartly avoiding the pin, but the damage being done as the seconds tick off the knee in the match and maybe the career of Billy Stark's all oh, pushing off. Out of desperation, looking for the dive once again. She was caught before, and Starks connecting. <laughs> See the wheel, though, not 100% on Billy Starks. Even slow it down. The velocity of Billy Starks coming out, but Billy Starks is in survival mode, going to the top rope, and Shafir is laid out. Riccoboni, looking for that swan dive again. The Starks have one more in her. Oh, oh. he's up. Shafir giving up the knees. Complete him on the back of Stark. Stark's in trouble here. Wow. Hooks the leg to the stretch muffler. Bob hits two. My goodness, Marina Shafir continues to pull out moves that we haven't seen from her. But this is another level that she has to dig deep in because it's not often we see Marina Shafir this deep into the pool. She's normally finished off her opponents by now. Absolutely, that striking, that quickness, that finesse. Starks has come back. Look at this inside pump handle from Shafir. And try it oh, up and over. Yeah. Starks. Oh, look for the backslide. Oh, wait a minute. Corey special. Driven down. Shafir able to plant the knees to avoid some of the impact. But Starks may have gotten enough here. Yeah, playing the knees is not a good thing, though, Riccoboni. You jam your knees, it's hard to kick out. Oh. Hook the leg, two. Wow. And hey, you're right, that desperation, trying to avoid the gory bomb, it puts Shafir in a place where she could not move. Yeah. That swan dive connects, and Starks with Shafir, maybe an opportunity for the star 10 here. Wait a second, is she going to put her away, Riccoboni? Oh, those arms are crossed. They're trapped. Oh, nice oh, kick. Your fierce head. Back to it. That's a veteran move right there. And starts. Starts head. That'll do it, Riccoboni. I promise you that much. Hook the leg. Starts with the victory. The winner is Max Billy. Tell you what, Rick Cabani, there's so many things that this young lady does so well. That was a veteran move right there. When Shafir tried to move out of the way, a Billy Starks kicks her and goes right back to the same maneuver. That is perfect timing. That's a veteran instinct. That's something she had to learn from a champion. Starks knew that she had one shot. Oh, code of honor, not in here, too. Starks. With the good comes the bad. With the good learning comes the dirty pool learning as well. It's this power to Billy Sark that we never thought we would see, but now we can't unsee it. This is not the same innocent female that came to wrestling the Ring of Honor. The teenage mind poisoned by the world champion as Starks disposes of Shafir after a sneak attack, and the world champion has got to like what she's seen from her protege. And what in the world? Ceremony, everybody, ceremony, can't you tell? Well, I graduate next year, Woo. Uh, oh, 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 oh my goodness. As Lexi Nair, Decked in a cap and gown befitting of the great, late, great Lanny Popo. 
Jeez. I tell you what, Athena's a genius, though. Athena is a genius indeed. The Ring of Honor Women's World Champion greeting her minion in training. Well, she was a minion in training. I'm, I'm, I'm making some leaps and some assumptions here of what may be to come. But let's turn it to the champion who will inform us. a bit of a surprise, but it is now time for our 2023 MIT graduation ceremony. You know, MIT is a very prestigious academy that I took a lot of time in developing. It's for minion empowerment. It is for the must-see violence. But most of all, it's for me. <laughs> so, without further ado, let me introduce to you our 2023 valedictorian of MIT. This person, when I first met them, they were very rough around the edges, and let's be honest, they sucked. <laughs> But through my guidance, they have worked hard. They have worked so hard. And let me tell you, I think that this person has even changed my life for the better. And hopefully, I've changed theirs. Without further ado, our Well, in Chicago, you have mustard on a Chicago dog and not ketchup, but... Without further ado, our 2023 valedictorian, Lexi Nair! Oh. Oh, no. I didn't know who was going to be... Well, I think, I think Billy believed she had a shot. And Lexi will be receiving an Athena's Minion shirt. Available on shophonor.com. And she will now be known as Minion number Bessie. Wow. It's the highest yeah. honor you can get. Yeah, but Billy. Guys, this is, this this is Lexi's time right now, okay? You're being very rude. Yeah. It is Chicago. At, this is just this. She's 18 years old. It this, is ketchup season here. There's Chicago dogs don't even have ketchup. Lexi, please say a few words for these assholes. Oh come on! This this is humil. They're humiliating a teenager. She just graduated high school. She's done everything. Uh, <clears throat> I'd like to thank my mother. No, 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 no. I'd like to. Athena signed that diploma twice, by the way. What kind of egomaniac puts their signature on a document twice? Okay, I'd twice? like to thank my mother. But no, 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 I would really like to thank Athena. She has gotten me here today through my blood, sweat, and tears. I wouldn't have been able to do it without my minion buddy. Athena, I owe you the world. And, and this is heartbreaking. Let's show some respect, Rick Bonnie. You gotta be happy for Lexi. I, I can't help but think. There's only one valedictorian. And that was my friend Ashok Conwalker, and that drove me nuts. And that will conclude our 2023 MIT graduate. Will you give all of our participants a round of applause? And we wish you well in your future endeavors. Thank you. We're going to go because you guys are being extremely rude. I'm sorry. 
Well, there's a salutatorian, too. That's the person. What do you mean, what about you? What about what me? About you? No, this isn't about you right now, Billy. This is about Lexi. This is Lexi's time. This isn't your time. I'm ready! No. no. Uh-oh. Billy Starks! Staring a hole through the champion! And Athena has abused her position of power for so long, approaching a year with this 18-year-old Billy Starks. We might be able to call Athena Frankenstein because she's created a monster here. And it just continues to keep Billy Starks under her thumb, humiliating this 18-year-old prodigy once more. And, and she's, Billy Starks is devastated. She should be on cloud nine. She just defeated one of the toughest, most violent athletes in Ring of Honor. And instead, this night has turned into a nightmare. Wait, wait, wait a second. Billy Starks! Yes! Yes! Billy Starks, stand up for yourself! Starks has the title! Athena's laughing. She is inspired by this violent turn from Billy Starks, who is turning this humiliation into a moment that she won't forget, and neither will Athena. Victorious here tonight, Billy Starks. And where does this leave this relationship? Has she broken the toxic hold that Athena has on her here in Chicago? Caprice, absolutely wild turn of events. I tell you what, Rick Abani, be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. Athena for so long has been wanting Billy Starks to pull out the stocks, and that's exactly what Billy Starks did.